this is I play Jet! I'm falling! Uh, oh, my name is Cody and I play Jet! <laughs> what's up, God? Hey, guys. What's up? Oh, God, this is the end. Hey. Charlie! Oh, Charlie oh, no. Yeah. Charlie, is that you? Charlie, and I play Charlie oh, help! Who do you play, Charlie? I play, um, I play Gillian Todd. I, I can't hear this guy. Hello? What? What? Hello? Did you say something? Huh? Charlie. What? He's so. Charlie. Speak hey, up. I landed. I'm Speak on my feet up. now. Uh. I'll catch you. Can you catch me too? Can you catch me? Okay, I'm gonna catch you, Charlie. Thanks. All right, here I come. <laughs> Where are you guys? Oh shit! I feel like Why I just fell through a different hole. Why did you catch me? <laughs> oh my bones! Oh fuck, dude! I'm a fucking puddle. Charlie, oh, you didn't Condi. you didn't tell me you were you were you weren't falling over Condi, continental you Canada. You <laughs> All right, guys. Me and I died. I broke it. I'm here. Charlie, you okay, man? I'm sorry I didn't catch you. Ugh. 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 Dude, what the hell, man? Charlie, you gotta understand, man. I found like a really, a really pretty rock. I didn't. I'm Bisley. Oh my god. And I played Chip. <sighs> hey, I'm Condi. I play J. Farron. Uh, hi, I'm uncomfortable, right, and guys, I play so Gillian and Ty. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Good job, guys. Let's get <laughs>
And it's just, uh, you can definitely tell that when he sits down, he'll transform. But when he stands up, <laughs> there's something going on. There's something off about <laughs> Okay. And Griffin okay. looks at him and he just, uh, and you notice that Griffin hasn't said anything to you guys about this. Mm -hmm. But as soon as, as soon yeah, as I mean, he, uh, good. as soon as he gets stopped, he looks great. and he goes, <clears throat> What's wrong with my fit? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Sit down. It's it's great. Please, it's great. Don't Listen, worry about it. Is there sir, a with our friend here? Her hey. name is Matilda, right? The 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 lady who gave us the fits. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Oh, okay. Um. Yes. Well, there there is a, a specific dress code in order to enter the the, the manor here. That I'm, I'm always... afraid you don't understand. I mean, this is Matilda's latest and greatest. You haven't heard? Oh, I mean, the finest of threads. <laughs> oh, this is the talk of the town. You haven't. I mean, if it's, I could afford it, I would have brought it myself. Un unconventional. Um, oh, ahead, I'm uh, sorry. I didn't realize this. You just don't get it yet. <laughs> Griffin, activate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, before Griffin activates, J roll persuasion with advantage from Chip from, yeah, uh, from help. Actually, uh, uh, as you roll, this happens. As you guys watch as Griffin leans hey. in. Jay, it is, it is your destiny. <laughs> oh, it's my Zeldis. destiny too It's now, your eh? destiny. Uh, persuasion, you said? Yeah. Yes, with advantage. Uh, God, that was not great, even with advantage. Uh, 12 total. <sighs> okay. Damn. No, we just let, yeah. guys, we just let the chair do the talking. The chair does the talking Dude, the for us. The chair is talking trash right now. <laughs> Griffin leans in close to your ear, Gilly, and he goes, What are you talking about? It's okay, Griffin. Just take a seat. And I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna kinda like very gently push him back into a sitting position so the metamorphosis begins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he begins to descend as yes. like an Autobot instead of a car takes the formation of a throne chair. All black leather. And all you see is his head sticking out without the headpiece on. The rest of his body completely cloaked, and uh, the drow the, the, behind the counter goes, Oh, oh my. I sit well, down on the chair and like put my head down dramatically. Get out like, of you're, like your arms sprawled out. Like, <laughs> yeah, wide. yeah, like, like that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, get out of my lap. Get out. Oh. Sorry, you just looked like a really cool chair. <laughs> oh, Needless to say, uh, the, uh, the 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 draw behind the counter is just marveled at this uh, revelation. And goes, well, that is certainly a efficient. I, I applaud Mister Matilda's work. Please do enjoy the ball and and uh, take care. Enjoy the party. No, hmm? we'll take. <laughs> chair. <laughs> 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 and I walk away. <laughs> All right, as you exit the foyer of the manor here, you emerge into the ballroom where you gather the party is taking place, clearly, as you're greeted with a glamorous gothic interior. Immaculately polished black stone floors tinted with scarlet connected to black walls with golden designs and red pillars. You count six hanging chandeliers, to uh, uh, all connected by red drapes in a circular formation around a central much larger and fancier glass chandelier. Each of the smaller chandeliers has magically floating candles with flickering red flames circling a glass ball of white light. You see the ceiling of this dome-shaped room uh, um, has black and red stained glass arranged to look like roses that loom over the chamber, seeing a blur of the moon and the stars just past it above. You notice stairs that wrap around both the left and the right side of the perimeter as you're walking through here in the middle from the entrance. Uh, leading to hallways that presumably lead to the second floor chambers, both, however, sealed by a magical barrier. Hmm. So, entry to the stairs is pretty much not permitted. And as okay. you walk in, the door shut behind you, and you see that this uh, room is pretty much just the ballroom. That's where everyone is allowed to gather and have access. There isn't really any way to mingle uh, throughout the manor itself. So, it's kind of constrained to this... Okay. Are the only exits to this the way we came in and the two staircases, pretty much? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, that is important to notice. You would notice it as well. And you see a multitude of guests dressed to the nines with flamboyant and elaborate outfits all fitting this 
uh, Victorian theme, bouncing between one another in conversation and drinks, while some float around the tables of food just on the opposite side of the entrance. And the floor is yours to explore. So do you guys have anything you want to do or look for or, oh, or cool. chat? Um, okay. For, for the meantime, while you wait for events to begin. So who do you think is going to be murdered? I mean, you think it... I don't know. It, uh, uh, it could be you. No, actually, what if... What if Grim is getting murdered and we have to solve it? Well, that would not be very that wouldn't productive be ideal, to finding or... Grim if he died. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how we're supposed to start a murder mystery if we don't even have weapons. Well, maybe we should what start if, by wait, looking around for potential murder weapons. Well, Gillian, what do you think a murder mystery is, just quickly, before we go into this? Um, well, I mean, I think we're all on the same page. I'm going to break a glass. <laughs> so there are, there's sort of like, uh, I want to say waiters who are dressed in just like butler, uh, tailcoat outfits, um, and they're holding little trays. Okay, cool. Yeah. And you grab I very, one of the like, glasses, I very just gingerly smash it on your one. knee. I say thank you, I give them a nod, and I just <laughs> break it. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> a few heads turn and gasp, uh, and then in an instant they just sort of like let it go and continue on. A silly joke among among friends. Uh, no, Gillian, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you hear people laugh and they just like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they turn away. How they grand? Look... How grand? How grand? How grand? <laughs> They're Gillian laughing listen. at me, Chip. <laughs> Gill Gillian, no, no. I grab, I grab Gillian's arm. <laughs> Okay, oh, so I think it seems like in the undersea, our idea of a murder mystery party is very different. How do you people do it? Well, not that I've ever been to one, but I'm pretty sure somebody's going to get murdered and we have to, like, solve it. <sighs> Grim the, the host. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. And Gillian? God, you were here. Holy fuck, chair. a talking chair. <laughs> no, Gillian. <laughs> <laughs> Usually at these parties... And from when I picked up at the library, talking with Mr. Sintis. And he points uh, to a tiny little black kinku bird mm -hmm. um, wearing that same kind of like Lolita dress uh, that uh, gradients into sparkling purple hue towards the bottom, talking with a another uh, person just off the, off the way from you guys. <clears throat> Mr. Sintis told me about the parties. A librarian and a mimic, as most kinku are. It begins with a ball, a dance, a waltz, and after that, sort of like an introductory event, hmm. the game begins. So for now, I suppose we wait. What was the name of the Kenku? Miss Decentis. Guys, I'm taking some crazy ass notes because any one of these fucking people could be a suspect. <clears throat> and I'm hanging mm. on to the fact that that bitch a mimic <clears throat> hung, hung on to. <laughs> okay. okay. Good brain, good brain. I'm um, going to look around, I guess, to see if everyone is kind of doing the same thing or if anything looks slightly out of the ordinary. And as Gilly and I have a low chance of noticing, so I guess I'll just start staring into the distance with my sharpened wine glass by my side, just dripping red fluid onto the ground. Okay. Would you say you're just perceiving things or are you trying to investigate? I think I'm just perceiving to start. Um, yeah, just I, I think I think if I was like actually uh, like checking out a scene, it would be investigation. I would also like to kind of perceive some stuff. Holy shit, seventeen! That's really Ooh. good for me. Um, investigate. I want to look guys. at the stairs. Yeah, I say you can roll as well. Should be a count. You're not okay. allowed to roll. Um, my <laughs> what I'm specifically looking for is I want to get on a read on the people here. Like I want to see if there's anybody who's drawing a lot of attention. Yeah. Um, is that investigation or perception? That is still perception. Okay. It, rolled, it landed on a fucking natural 20 and then they slowly rolled over oh, to it too. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, Sick. no, um, dude. Gillian, you first. I'm using my inspiration. You look around. <laughs> oh, okay. shit. Um, go ahead then. I'll tell you. you guys this is bad. 10. <laughs> oh, Ten. fuck, <laughs> man. It's all right. Um, so, Gillian, you first. Eye. Uh, you just kind of look around and seeing if anyone is acting specifically different to the other people, uh, other guests here, and for the most part, there seems to be already established cliques. There are a few people mm. who are off to the side by themselves, um, 
but look to be kind of like uh, their own little like group. The uh, the most the most offstandish figure comes from uh, uh, one that's still wearing a cloak, fully hooded. Oh, standing by the food tables across the room. Okay. From where you guys are standing, which is still by the entrance. Uh, it's a much shorter figure that is, you know, obscuring their face. Okay. And it's for you, Jay, looking for anyone who looks out of place, like you said, is that what you said? It just like anybody who's like drawing a, a crowd or like... Drawing, okay, so anyone who's popular. drawing a crowd, you definitely immediately see, um, with your role, a very large in stature, furred Leonin, who is being a uh, uh, white-furred Leonin, uh, which is basically a, a lion humanoid who has slick back to blonde hair that kind of uh, blends into the mane and to the into the bearded uh, or the braided beard and they are wearing a completely gold suit with a black vest underneath one of the most ostentation outfits here and not necessarily fitting the rest of the crowd but is clearly his best and with whatever sort of uh, uh, occupation he has here in the city was allowed in despite being the, the brightest figure in the room and he is drawing a crowd with a dramatic speech um with your it's kind of hard to tell it just sounds like a bunch of, of nonsense from over here you have to get a little closer and yeah i would it. definitely get a little closer to try and listen in. she's splitting off from the group if she's doing that i'm gonna get low like in an athletic stance with this broken glass and start creeping over to the, the <laughs> hooded guy okay so you're going way across the room to the table of food yeah well if i see her split off i'm like good idea let's follow our <laughs> own leads I'm going to uh, <laughs> walk around and, and talk to people, but I want to go by the stairs and see if, see if there's any, like, this magical barrier. I want to see if what is making it, how it's, if I could get past it. What, why is this magical barrier there? Is it just, is somebody creating it? I don't know. Okay. I want to, I want to investigate the stairs. I would like you, to go up the stairs. You roll, you roll arcane for me, Chip. Yeah. And the other two of you are heading away. Before you go, though, before you guys kind of split off in three different directions, mm -hmm. uh, Griffin just says, All of you stay on your toes. The monster I'm looking for, its scent is here, but it masks itself well. Mingled with the other scents, it's too difficult to discern. But it's what, here. What should we be looking for? There was a tall and slender silhouette. But it's sent as the strongest thing I remember. And what does it smell like? If you remember it really well. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're about to say mac and cheese, dude. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm going to hold back from making a fucking Twilight reference here. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <What are you? laughs> Sorry. Do it. Do it. No, do it. Do it, dude. Let's just think about the precedent we're setting here. It's a mixture. We do. Killian. Yes. Yes. Griffin. A bit flowery, rosemary, or incense. Or a mixture of bleach and syrup. Rosemary, bleach, syrup. It's distinct. Got it. Does Gillian know what these things are? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the hardest part for Charlie uh, trying to deduce that. things and then, <laughs> and then figure things out and then be playing Gillian with the <laughs> lowest intelligence ever. <laughs> that's, that's so awesome. Hey guys, no, actually, zero for three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, I got a natural twenty. Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay. Holy shit! I've been okay. holding on to that one for that. We'll go down, yeah, we'll go down go. the. We'll go down the line then, with starting with uh, okay. Bisley and then J and then Gillian. Uh, Guys, I, do you ever have that feeling where you, when you start recording, start playing D and D, you all of a sudden have to shit? Just really all bad. All the time, all the time, dude. I do, but I fucking can't anymore. Ever since I got Ever that crack I... filled, man. <laughs> dude, there's no context for that now. We didn't use that <laughs> intro. No there's no context. For yeah, in case you guys didn't know, we had our asses sealed. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Whenever we see you guys calling this podcast cracked, I assure you, we are not. You walk over to the arcane barrier. It's just sort of like almost like a gate-shaped red arcane field 
with uh, that is patterned and designed sort of like a gate itself with a re with a with a G in the middle, similar to the one that's out front of the entrance of the manor. And it is just um, you put your hand on it and it just sort of like hums and glows. But you can't sort of get past it. And with a natural twenty, you would know that uh, somehow you would know that this magic this is just a, a probably an abjuration where it's it's just an impassable gate in a sense and could only be dispelled by magical means but it is an, it is intend to restrict guest movement to one room mm -hmm. and not venture throughout the manor okay. okay kind of just like standing in front of it making one of those like quizzical faces like i'm <laughs> I'm rich at a party. I'm holding mm. my little stick, but my pinky mm. is up, so you know I am quite proper. And I'm just, hmm. You're holding your little mm. stick? What does that mean? What did you As get you're a doing stick? This. I have a cane. I had a cane. Oh, the whole oh, oh yeah, okay, right. okay. I was like, I was picturing you with just like a little stick, and I was like, what is that? Is that like a fancy <laughs> thing? As you're doing this, you hear uh, a figure <laughs> approach behind you and walk up and say, um, excuse me? Mm. Oh, oh, yes, hello. Uh, how, how do you do? You see this, uh, this short, sort of like half elven uh, woman who has blonde hair as well that is sort of braided into a bun uh, with uh, one of those hats that Jay is also wearing that covers part of her face with a, a sheer veil. Uh, wearing this like really beautiful, exaggerated ball gown. and But she looks quite thin and a, a bit timid. And she's holding. Uh, this uh, this glass filled with uh, you know uh, the alcoholic beverages that they're serving here, and um, she looks a little nervous. But since you're kind of off on your own inspecting the stairs, uh, she also has like these like small little glasses as well that that like, circle around the eyes. And she looks at you. She goes, "Um, what are you doing?" Oh, I was just admiring the the barriers holding these lots from the stairs. Yes, it is a a fine. A, a fine barrier from the abjuration school. Mm. Well, you are quite knowledgeable about the uh, about magic. Oh, I dabble. I dabble. Do you dabble? Are you? I am very interested in it, but I don't know too much about about it. I would I would love to hear. Are you also here by yourself? And this begins to talk really really fast. I I, I came here, but no one oh, seems so, to want to talk so, to me. And then I um. Shh 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 shh. Slow down, darling. <laughs> You're talking a bit too fast. Her lips uh, pierce no, as you um, as you shut. Uh, first. Yes, I am here alone. I uh, just I've made a couple of friends, but I am new around. Uh, what is your name? Just told the lady you're here alone at a murder party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rebecca. That's lovely. Uh, well, I'm it is also here alone. Pleasure to meet you, Rebecca. What uh, brings you to this gala? Is it's gala my. It's my first here being invited. I hear such great oh. things and about the mysterious Grimm's parties, and I knew that this opportunity, I wouldn't get it again, and I, and this, you know, I, I, I didn't want to miss out. And well, Rebecca, I'm under mystery. Sounds exciting. We are in for a treat. Why do you talk like that? What? I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean to be offensive. And then she sort of like looks down uh, at at her at her glass. Talk like what? <clears throat> I'm just. Talking, how people talk. Are you from the upscale uptown? Oh yes, the, the, the most upscale. It's it is even further above the upscale. In fact, being among these peons makes me a bit sick. But you, Rebecca, you, you've got a gumption to you that I well, quite enjoy. My family is a merchant family in Midtown. Ooh, we don't usually get covers. invited. Oh, you've, we've all got to start somewhere. Oh, not all of our families can be wildly rich and successful as mine, but it, it is... And uh, what is your family? What's the um, name? It's, it's the, uh... It is the... Perhaps I've heard of... The... 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 the um... Uh, I look around the room. I'm looking around for, for things around me. Oh, my uh. God. You're doing a fucking P tier, Griffin. <laughs> I'd like to perceive. I'm gonna roll perception. <laughs> Tell me what I get. Oh God. <laughs> I'm I'm also nervous. I'm gonna roll a disadvantage just for funsies. Oh, uh, it's still 17. Okay. Nice. That one was a natural 20 though. Holy shit. Anyways, looking around, what are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for any like the brightest thing in the room that stands <laughs> out to me. Yeah, it's it's the big golden suit lion person. 
So it's giving a speech that you see Jay sort of uh, mingling over to. I, I am from the lion gold <laughs> family. The what? The lion That's, one? La- lion golds. We are the lion golds. The lion golds. The lion we golds. Are. Yes, yes. We, we remain in the shadows. You may not have heard of us, but we <laughs> surely had a hand. I would in, love to know what you do. Oh, a bit of this, a bit of that. It's... <sighs> What do you do? You, your, your family is of merchants. Are you yourself a merchant? I'm studying. I actually brought some things here in case I able were able to get some uh, potential customers. Uh, and then uh, she begins to pull out her, her, <sighs> her oh, satchel. Here it is the sales and pitch. <laughs> before we get to that, we're gonna switch over to Jay now. Jay, you're walking up to this boisterous um, lion. <laughs> 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 and you, uh, as you get closer, you start to hear the speech. And he goes, Yes, I am the great Jacko Ripper. And no one, no one has a family as rich as mine in this city. And no one owns as many homes as mine. No one is as brave as me. But have some competition, bro. And uh, he begins to go on and on, telling... Uh, stories, or not stories, but just basically gloating and, and, and building himself up. No one shits like Jacko! <laughs> and then, <laughs> it just goes on. His name was Jack O. Ripper? Mm-hmm. Jack O. Ripper. So he's probably getting murdered. So just a whisper to myself. Um, There, you, there are uh, many figures kind of fawning over his... Yeah, I was gonna ask what like the general crowd reaction was to this man. Large stature, but you do also see a- another large figure. Um, the three largest in the room are you can immediately clock are Jacko, um, chair suit Griffin, and uh, <laughs> uh, a-, a a sort of a guy that seems familiar, a Goliath who was wearing this sort of. Um, black leather shorts, black leather popped collar vest with nothing underneath it. He looks very similar to the Goliath you saw at the entrance of the city. And he shouts out, All right, that's uh, that, that, that's that's enough, Jacko. You're being a little loud for the guests. Let's keep it down. All right. Let's keep it down, all right? And then uh, Jacko retorts, Thou beneath me as a simple gatekeeper will not tell me what to do, the great Jacko Ripper! Uh, and, uh... <laughs> of course, they start to get into it at this point. Well, they're just, like, f- f- shouting Sorry. at each other? No, just a, just sort of an argument where the Goliath is trying to keep things civilized and Jacko was boisterous and arrogant. And that's mostly what you get from this. Okay. I definitely don't engage with... <laughs> Gillian. You meander your way through the food table, and you get to this cloaked uh, figure who is just uh, facing the table. Uh, what do you do? Gillian As you approach, thinks to himself for a second. <laughs> yes, no, I, I don't think he even really understands what a murdering mystery party is yet. Um, except that this guy looks vaguely suspicious. Um, I'm gonna roll up to the table crouching and then I and then I stand up and then I'm gonna sort of crouch again trying to figure out if I should like like how to approach this and then I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my broken glass on the table take a deep sniff of the air in front of him just put my nose in the air and go uh, and use use divine sniffer okay so I know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. Okay. In this room. Yes. Multiple undead. Is it like is it like enough to not even be worth counting or is it like three or four? For the undead, not worth yeah. counting. There is a lot of people in the room. Totally good. And a good, good mix of them are undead. There are no fiends. I'm glad I checked before I said something. I just want to look like a total weirdo in front of this guy. Here you are. Good. I take um, that, that sniff. I inhale that. Those uh, those divine odors. So what do you do? 
There is only a, a good handful of undead in this room. But in front of you, there is not. He he is not bringing off any any sniffs. There's no there's no smells. No. And you walk up and you say, "What do you do?" And then you start to hear the sort of like. Yes, yes. And, uh, and the, the head whips around and you see just stuffed put cheeks full. Uh, a Durgar, dwarf, gray-skinned, <laughs> um, wearing this uh, sort of like mix of armor and nice suit, mostly obscured by that hooded cloak that he's wearing over all of it. Um, the skin is gray, like I said, but he has this long braided bright red beard. And he looks at you with like one eye and brow raised. <laughs> And he takes a second with his mouth completely full, and then he swallows. <clears throat> what do you want? I didn't. I didn't realize they had appetizers here. Actually, <laughs> I'm. I'm kind of hungry too. Where'd you get those from? He looks over at the table of food in front of him. The right idea. Oh yes. I just it's an open buffet. Look him in the eyes, and I just. <laughs> start slowly eating things so <laughs> anyone here look like try the cheese who are you gonna, who are you gonna kill <laughs> what why'd you why'd you do it are you Listen, on something drink too much son i've never been to one of these murder mystery parties before you accused me of murder well, I, I i mean did you I'll have you know if they didn't take my weapons. There'd be a fight going on right now. Between oh. you and I. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do care. that. Well, why, 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 you know, why let the weapons stop us? Hang on. <clears throat> let me just grab another. Oh. Mm. These these are good. Okay, are put them up. Weapons are dangerous. There's nothing dangerous about weapons. You're right. It's the people that we It's fight. us that's dangerous. Yeah, you get it. Let's go. <laughs> he sticks out his hand. <laughs> Put him up. <laughs> yeah. All nice. right, redeemed. The name's Ban Madaka. What is it? Ban? Ban? <laughs> ban? B-A-N? Mad Dagger? Mad Dagger. Mad Dagger. I'll put it in the chat. Mad Dagger. Ban Mad Dagger. Ban, ban Mad, Mad Dagger. Dagger. Good to meet you. Gillian Tide Strider, champion of the undersea. Here of the... Ah, uh, you've heard of it. I actually haven't. Gillian Tidestrider, <laughs> champion of the undersea, <laughs> of the deep, singer, songwriter, me. of all. Yeah. I'm a blacksmith myself. Oh, Carpenter. Cool. I run mad daggers in downtown. So, what brings you here then? I was invited. Free food. And he starts it's putting good. more ham and like like pieces of these, like, they're like trays of just different assorted <laughs> small cut it up like imported goods like from different islands and stuff it's very fancy lots of oh, good uh, snacking cool. food um yeah so and he is like going to town on it most people you see him are just, like not but he is i'm i can i sniff him real quick does she smell <laughs> like rosemary bleach and syrup <laughs> there is more of a sort of coal and brimstone smell mm -hmm. to his uh his demeanor so, Ben, who do you think's gonna do uh, it? Are you referring to the murder mystery? Yes. I mean, unless the murder's already happened and we are currently failing. Don't worry. It's just the game. I'll be gone before it starts anyways. I hate to say this, but that sounds kind of sus, Ben. Uh, and at <laughs> that point, when you say that, uh, <laughs> the attention is sort of distracted all amongst the room as the chandeliers the red flames the small ones they furl up and burst and give a uh -oh. brighter red glow to the room brighter than the the reflection of like the stained glass and stuff uh and everyone at once falls silent for a moment including yourselves and you all hear sort of peek into your brain your subconscious a voice that whispers gently and is sourceless and says, Honor guests of all kinds. Welcome to the party. Before we begin tonight's show, I implore you to join me in a waltz. And at this one, you see people all around lock eyes and then hands as they're finding partners to dance with. 
I look at the dwarf next to me, mouth full of food. <laughs> I guess I hold out a fucking arm to like predator handshake him into a waltz. You've got to be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try to persuade him into it? Um, yeah. He doesn't look interested. I'll say that. He doesn't look interested. Mm -hmm. Chip, the uh, uh, Rebecca who you've been speaking with at this time sort of like blushes as she looks down and um, asks, do you have a partner already? Uh, I don't say anything. I just kind of bow my head and hold my hand. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> um, and uh, in that case, then uh, the two of you lead to the middle of the room. And Jay, from up behind you, you feel a hand touch your shoulder and you're immediately charmed. Oh, God and as you it, look over, you again. see the face. <laughs> uh. Familiar Anastasia and your eyes sort of have this kind of like red glisten that matches hers. And she says, don't you want to dance with me, love? Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> 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 and you notice that Anastasia is no longer wearing like pool uh, outfit. However, uh, her hair is still straight black that looks almost oiled back with that hue of red similar to how it looked when she was in the pool. And she's wearing this like high slit a uh, form-fitting black gown of velvet, sleeved with gloves and a silk ribbon tied around the waist. Um, the chest area itself kind of bare in this U-shape. And uh, for you, what is your role, Gillian? Oh, right. I'm trying to persuade him. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I was, I was giving you time to roll. Yeah, no, combat is a dance. Uh, let's see. What what should I be rolling here? Just persuasion? Roll the hidden right. part. I want to do persuasion. I want to see if I can persuade him to enter some sort of strange fucking fight with me um, in the middle of this. Uh, let's see. 14. You're challenging me to a battle of dance. <laughs> yes. Unless you're too chicken. As soon as you say chicken. Ah, fuck off. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Uh, you walk with this, like, oh, creepy Durgar dwarf, <laughs> a blacksmith with, like, really calloused hard hands that grabs yeah. and squeezes your forearm, uh, and all three of you head and join more guests together here on the dance floor. You see that, uh, a few of the figures that you've already noticed are also dancing, like, the Leonin, Jacko, and, uh, the big Goliath. Uh, seems to be not dancing, but off on the side, sort of keeping like a like an eye with like one eyebrow raised. Um, and then you see as well, Mr. Sintas has a dance partner, and Anastasia's with Jay, and Chip has a a blonde, um, a, a, a sort of cute stranger that you haven't seen before, uh, and as well as others who join you all. As it's a simple sort of box step. Slow waltz, where you walk in this square together, and you gather that there is no necessary synchron synchronization in a sense where like everyone knew what was going on, but for some reason, under the glow of the flames of the chandeliers, it just seems to synergize. And as the pace begins to peak up, pick up, and music that is also sourceless from around the chamber swells and 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 dances and glides in this like beautiful melody together uh you gather that this waltz is helping socialize guests but is an introduction like griffin described uh and the three of you are with your respective partners i'm winning <laughs> if you want to roll for a contested performance for this, I wasn't going to have you roll to dance, by the I way. Do, you guys are doing I do, I do, I do. Because but, uh, it's I'll my roll, destiny roll. to break it down. I'll roll contested with you. I got. Sure, if you guys with... want to roll. I mean, I'm trying not to have too many rolls this session. But yeah, I guess you. I, I got like a 23. Rolls. <laughs> yeah, rolls are fun. 23? Okay, I'll roll for 23. <laughs> my man rolled a 2. Oh, a 20. Okay. I'll roll for... Holy shit. I flip him and start doing the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, would you like to roll? You are um, charmed yeah. at this moment, so... Well, with uh, with a, a 19 and a 20 for Chip and Gillian, you guys are doing the leading. Was that an actual 20? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! Dude. Okay. Okay, okay. 
I get, listen, I gotta put the moves on today for this lady. Chip, with your facade and your confidence, you lead Rebecca in a in a, a a glamorous way, stepping in a box, waltzing like you never knew you knew how, um, but doing it glamorously. And Chip and Gillian, sorry, Gillian, you are our. This is like a this is contested between Bob yeah, and no, Gillian. Yeah, no, I'm literally glaring floor. at him. I'm literally, <laughs> I'm like dragging him around. You know, the what two I mean? of them aren't even aren't even keep locking. Up, keep up. Uh, they like switch <laughs> locks, but they're only grabbing the forearms. It's very uh, like <laughs> it fits the surrounding area. They spin and keep in line with everyone else for some reason, but it is aggressive <laughs> and almost tribal in the way that they are competing <laughs> to lead each other in this wall. We just like we like knock over a couple of other people and keep going, <laughs> bumping into others. Uh, and then Jay, you are charmed by Anastasia. Uh, her gaze mm -hmm. uh, keeps you locked. And with this, it is such a strong pool of infa infatuation and a hint of lust that you begin to switch leads. You take the lead, um, which surprises your, your dance partner who allows it to happen. And your dance, with your natural 20, is starting to garner a spotlight. Ayo. Is there anything that you guys wish to say to your respective partners? Um, <laughs> not good enough. You so call that box like step? This. More like it's more like triangle step or line step. You're not even doing four. <laughs> I do the whole down. <laughs> throw down. I'm gonna throw you out a window. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you with me. I'll live. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to say anything to to the my partner, but uh, I just want to be like like dancing around. And if there's at any point she's not looking at me, I want to look over at at Jay and just go, like <laughs> pointing at her and with like a really excited face. She <laughs> looks at you a lot, smiles. There's sort of like a star in her eyes, and she actually says to you, Chip, as this waltz is continuing, she says, "Has anyone?" told you and then you guys sort of switch and uh, and spin uh, together you have a very pretty face oh my oh. god <laughs> dude he's gonna real? crying you can't do this a to little, him like a, a little tear starts welling up she smiles like really big <laughs> yes all the time i hear it constantly uh, but it is wonderful to hear from you at this point um <laughs> oh <laughs> What were you gonna say? Sorry. I was gonna say as a spot like kind of shows up on Jay. She doesn't say a word to her partner, um, the Anastasia, but like she starts spinning her around, like doing little arm spins, mm -hmm. and like it kind of leads up to this sort of climax where she like leans her down, their faces get really close, and they like, return to like normal pattern after that. Um, but that's that's about all that happens. Oh, you. that looks fun! I just grab him and start swinging him around. <laughs> <laughs> no, no! <laughs> Hold on tight! Uh, as you are scooping her up and, and doing twirls and spins, she says, You are quite the marvelous dancer. I practiced a lot as what a child. What brings you here? I know your face is new. Now, I'm charmed. Do I need to be truthful? Uh, you... Let me just reiterate what it means to be charmed. Mm -hmm. You, you remain charmed mm -hmm. for uh, the rest of the day. I'm pretty sure the rest of the night. No. Um, that surely won't come up again and be bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> you are oh, technically. Oh, anyway, this could even bite us back. You yeah, are no technically way. you have free will except with Anastasia under her control. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know that. Or I guess Jay doesn't know this, but you know as Condi that mm. her requests and actions, you will do it to the, in the most favorable way you can. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. um, you mm -hmm. are willing to... You are a willing target to be fed on. Bitten again. Mm -hmm. You consider Anastasia a trusted friend to be heated and protected. Well, and I'm kind of like, we're doing our, our little uh, twisting... So our you have no reason around. not to be truthful, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Well... We came here to meet Grim, actually. We're looking to get a favor from him. <laughs> no one meets Grim, love. He's as mysterious as the shadows in the night. 
We have our this ways. This party's our great friend. <laughs> I look at Gillian, <laughs> like I, I, I side eye Gillian, who's throwing this man around. Let go! Around. Give up! Relent! Relent! <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the rumors? The rumors? Not at all. It goes quite unnoticed, but I'm telling you because I like you. A lot of people go missing after these parties, though no one seems to be at mine, as they are quite. Grand. And a lot of people come in and go. So to be sure to keep an eye on your toes. Hmm. Rest assured, I will with pleasure watch your back. Should you watch mine tonight? <laughs> she what? gives you like a, a, a soft smirk. I give her a, a smile back and I say, of course. It seems we are. I'd be happy to. Gaining quite the attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we give them a show? Lovely. <laughs> Let us be the finale. The music builds up along with Jay and Anastasia's performance together in the middle floor surrounded by you by chip gillian your partners and a few others and as this music builds and, and and flows with that sort of like pulsing rhythm the flames on top of the chandeliers begin to also sort of uh, build along with the music being played by floating instruments leaving behind a sort of sparkling red trail of arcane uh, um that are not played by anyone in particular, but just sort of magically sort of bringing the music alive in the chamber. And the music continues to build and build until it hits its climax, that big final crescendo that comes in line with Jay and Anastasia's final uh, pose. And as that happens, and all of you sort of either twist or let go of your partner in this sort of almost like climactic ending, I imagine walls. Gillian suplexes his partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just let him sail into the crowd. <laughs> the room fills with darkness. One that cannot be seen through. And it almost, in a weird way, feels like you can't even hear through it as a voice similar to Before the Ball creeps again into everyone's subconscious. Let's begin the show. A murder mystery party. Tonight, a human has been murdered. While each of you will have roles, only some will have a specialty. Before we begin, come on, this. Please listen carefully for your own. Only you will know what you are. Someone to be trusted. Or... Or someone with ulterior desire. And at this point, Starting on the top of the uh, Oh, list. whoa, this is so cool. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, Are Tommy we going to get a Charlie DM Devin. or something? Oh, Devin. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, 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 that works. Yeah. <clears throat> Chip. Hi. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide my, my, my mouth so they can't see. You um. I'm going to act hear... like something crazy happened. You don't. <laughs> you don't see. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so, Chip. The voice creeps into your subconscious after a brief pause, and you hear. Those who hear my voice now. In tonight's game, you are considered a townsperson, an innocent. I also okay. want you to remind you that in this darkness, you don't see. You anything? It almost feels like everything is just stuck. So I can't feel this girl. No, there's no, there's no. All the senses are immediately kind of directed into your thoughts as this over oh. overwhelming presence takes over and speaks into your consciousness. So she's dead as fuck, right? Deafen yourself. Hey. Hey. 
So, after a brief pause, you hear the voice speaking to your subconscious. And this will is overwhelming to the point where you can't... It almost feels like all of your senses, including feel, uh, your, your feelings, your, your sight, your hearing, is all just focused into your brain. And you hear... Those who hear my voice now, your role is the police, judge, jury, executioner. You would gather that this means, uh, if you've never played murder mystery like this, yeah. Um, in order to win or whatever, the police have to make an arrest or decide someone's fate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's your preferably the right person, but it do doesn't need right to be the right person. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. You can get okay. it, you might get it wrong, but the whole point of a murder mystery is for the police to make the right arrest. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's your role. Okay. After a brief pause, and I'll say, like I've said to the others, this uh, voice, this will seems to be kind of overbearing to the point where all of your senses seem to focus in on your on the on the thoughts. This voice intruding your subconscious, and you kind of yeah. lose that uh, those feelings of sense, sight, smell, etc. Okay. And you hear after a brief pause, this voice comes back and says, "You, who hear my voice now, have the very special and singular." special rule as the detective oh no best of luck no 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 take it back take it back give it to someone else don't go don't go i don't know what the <laughs> what what is a murder mystery you're thinking all this in your what's head. happening <laughs> no <I> just, <laughs> just, no <laughs> not me charlie the word was frog after what? A brief pause. How the fuck was the word frog? <laughs> one word, one syllable. Hot. Luna, Luna, you guys sorry, are done. Sorry, sorry. What were you gonna say, Chris? <laughs> After a brief pause, light returns from the flickering flames and white glow above into the vicinity as the darkness dissipates. You all are sort of bundled in this group, sort of separated, segregated from the rest of the people who attended the party due to the nature of the waltz and you being the final ones on the dance floor. And Chip, you immediately clock Rebecca no. lying on the floor. Oh, we ah, fucking ah, knew it! No! I knew it! Knew it. knew it! Fuck, dude! Shit! I'm fucking so angry. She had to be that, eliminated. No, she caught no, no, such a nice no, fucking face. No, because before that, I... I came back and the other two were like, who do you think will die? I said, I think the girl who likes me will die. And they're like, yeah, we both thought that too. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm like, yeah, no, someone who loves Chip could never be allowed to exist. exist. In this world. More than five seconds. <laughs> right Fucker. next to you, right next to you. Like I, without, with inches as if she let go of your hand and fell dead. Um, and you see... Everything you touch <laughs> dies, bro. <That's> <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you see her, her face is bloodied and bruised, seemingly bashed in until almost unrecognizable. The once cute face, the glasses sort of uh, uh, fallen shit. across, scattered on the floor oh. and cracked. You know what the greatest irony would be if, is if Chip got the murder roll and did this himself. <laughs> I mean, you can see clearly that Chip was in the vicinity whenever this happened, as some of the, like, <sighs> splatters have hit his clothing. Gillian oh. looks up from his honest knees. He was screaming at the sky, and he looks oh. over at you. Chip. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> How could you? She really liked me, too. We were hitting it off great. Interesting choice of words. Chip. Your anesthesia says next to you. Oh, love. That's real blood. I can tell. No, uh, she's like, it's a game. She's probably fine. Just kick her a couple of times. Oh my god! <laughs> what is your she, like, just like a tap, just like the tap tap. Is she move? Is she's dead, right? I'm gonna tackle. Clearly Chip. lifeless. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. 
Oh shit. Yeah. You've, you've definitely <laughs> seen the difference between, like, real gore and, and fake. Right, I just thought it was believable. But... <clears throat> I fully sprint across the room and tackle Chip. Okay, you tackle Chip. Chip, keep your voice down, but why did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Gillian, I didn't do it. I'd like you to did. look around quickly. Is there any... Is it just her... Who's dead, or is there anybody else? Um, okay, so you take a look around. With your past perception, you don't need to roll. I'll say that, like I said, there's just, just this group of people from the dance, the waltz, mm -hmm. that are definitely separated to the point where everyone else who is outside of the waltz itself are kind of looking on in this sort of, like, horror. Some look really thrilled, like the game started, they're excited, others mm -hmm. are gasping, and they realize that they're not... They don't seem to have any in on this, but you do notice that the ones uh, who are most likely most involved are the ones who were left in the waltz here. And uh, you would clock a, or you would notice a, a another drow elf, pray, uh, a pale gray skin drow elf. Um, a uh, uh, ash colored furtibulk. Two, 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 these are two that you haven't seen yet, but you do know who are dancing. You see Leonin, Jacko Ripper. You would notice that yeah. the Goliath, who seems to be the sort of gatekeeper, is now making his way over from outside the crowd, as he had an eye, his eye on this, or tried to keep an eye on the dance in, entire, in its entirety. You would see a, uh, a, just a single individual dancing with themselves, a satire with conjoined twin heads. Satire? Hmm? Seder. Right? Seder, sorry. sorry, sorry. I said it wrong. Like, that would be, it's a, this sounds like satire. a satire. It's a Seder. It's a Seder with conjoined, <laughs> a conjoined twin Seder. Um, mm. As well as Bon Mad Dagger is still here, despite Just being thrown by Gilly. To the ground. <laughs> See um, Mr. Sintus and Jay and Anastasia. As well as Chip. And that is. Oh, okay. and um, there's one more uh, that I they forgot that was dancing with Mr. Sintus. My bad. Um, it's a. Almost like black shelled turtle, uh, wearing a suit with a, with like sort of a staff, uh, kind eyes. Looks really old. Um, kind eyes. I've heard that before. <laughs> he's not the murderer. He's not the murderer. It's, he can't be. Good. He has kind eyes. <laughs> or well, is that what Grizzly is using against us? <laughs> the King Kamistis no. and just to just not make this like that also has kind eyes. I don't want to like. Oh my god. That's not okay, a, that's so not a hint. I was, either. They all have a kind eyes. It's Shit. Good we've ruled out these two. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was my bad. I mean, they just both look. They look the yeah, like, no, we softest, get they didn't do softest demeanors. And they were both dancing together. So okay. that is everyone mm -hmm. around the vicinity. Jay, you start to approach as well? Yeah. Because uh, just... Griffin is starting to make his way towards the, the body. Chip. Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to find who did it now? Yeah, we're supposed to find who did it. Gil, I think she's really dead. I think so, too. Can I ask you something? Yeah, cool, of course. I lean in really close. What's a detective? <laughs> oh. Okay, so you're supposed to find... <laughs> are you a detective? The detective is supposed to find the clues. Someone and solve the mystery. is a detective. Okay, well, someone. <laughs> I, if what? What are you? I, town folk? Something innocent. You said it like you didn't know <laughs> what the name of it was. Yeah, I know, cause calling myself a townsfolk sounds weird. It yeah. did. <laughs> it did sound weird. Hey, Chip. What's innocent spelled backwards? <laughs> T N E C O N N I. That could be true. <laughs> okay. Jay walks up saying that. <laughs> Jay, what what Jay what, is, what 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 the what, hell is wrong with you guys? What role are you? Townsfolk. Townsfolk. <laughs> well, I mean, if you both said it, I believe it. Well, I, I said it first. Jay just kind of repeating what I said. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Jay, why do you have that look in your eyes? 
I'm, can I do a quick little insight check on Jay to see? Dude, I you're would, turning I... us all against each other immediately. Oh, <laughs> no, what you, you can't. You can't use the rolls to determine. Oh, you're right, because it's a play. <clears throat> it's part of the game. Yeah. Chip, chip. I still it's all. This is all going to be role play for the most. Yeah. yeah okay. 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 Perfect. Here, here is a question that I have. Right. Oh God. Can we use actual, like, the way that the person in real life is behaving and point out those mannerisms as though the character were doing so? Or is the character behaving differently? Because when Condi does that smirk thing and the little <laughs> eyes, I know he's guilty of something. Okay, here's but what I think. <laughs> Visually, I think you're totally right, and I think we need to all hone in on it. Do you, what you do you mean? So I think funny. I think that everything you say and express can and will be used against you immediately, and that's the way it's gonna be. Okay, sound good? But but Condi, what? How do you feel about that? Because you're awfully quiet about it right now. Go for it. Go, Go for, for it. it. Jay is oh, followed by nothing Griffin, stopping you. Yeah. Who kneels down and says, <sighs> "Try and stay calm." I mean, Chip seems pretty really calm about it. Hang on. Yeah, I thought it was a party. Let's 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 a murder let's figure party. this out real quick. I didn't think okay. it was a real murder. All right. I uh, I I stand up and I'm gonna turn to the crowd and I'm gonna say, <clears throat> "Who got townsfolk?" <laughs> All the crowd surrounding this vicinity. You see, everybody raise their hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We well, figured out awful. townsfolk is a real role potentially. Some some whispers and hush like going on between uh between like chattering they're like, oh, is the game really going on right now? Yeah, you are townsfolk. Right? I didn't even get. I just hear. Uh, <laughs> and you hear really approaching right. from behind behind okay. you. All right, all right, guys. Hey, what are we gonna chip? do? I don't know. I don't know. I think the first thing we. What is that? Oh no. The name's Jacko Ripper, and I yeah, am here okay. to solve <laughs> the case of the murder. Oh. That's a real dead body. Nobody panic! It's a real dead body! And then people, st you start to see that people go, real dead body? Wait, so this is not a game? Or um, and uh, a few people start to like, bolt towards the, the, the front doors. Where you hear, <laughs> just rattle. And then, oh, uh, a bit of a panic starts to ensue real. towards the entrance. I think we have to take charge of this, Gil. It's not okay. opening! It's well, not hang on, hang on. Jack! Gil. What 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 role are you to put yourself in a sudden position of so much authority? A townsperson. But it falls on the citizens in these moments to find the right crime and punish those responsible. Guys, we can't trust Ruining this guy. a ball well, yes, and taking a game I... seriously <clears throat> to the point where murdering a small insignificant person. Insignificant does lie on the townsfolk. Yes, uh, uh Felix Lion Gold, everyone here to uh Take take a bit of charge here. Good sir. Why are you lying about your name? Good sir, good sir. Why are you lying about who you are? You? Gillian, Gillian, Gillian. It's part of the thing. It's part of the thing. <laughs> part of the thing. Okay. Um, okay. Who, who uh, are you, you to to stand above the rest? Uh, I'd like to perhaps a murderer would well, like such power. You famous. with the blood on your clothing. That's true. Yes. That's true. My beautiful, lovely dance partner was struck down next to me. See the Goliath who's been approaching uh, start to point. Hey, hey, all of you on the dance floor, nobody will move. You're not going anywhere, okay? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> this in talks. this group, stay in a plan circle. To leave. Gil. Yo, yeah, Jay. Did you mean it when you said you were a detective? Did you hear when I said I was a detective? I read your lips. I'm the police. So, detective. I put my hands up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What is? What do the police do? Killian, make an arrest. When you deduce, and only you can deduce. <laughs> no. Who the right murderer is? Okay. You'll tell me, and I'm supposed to have a partner, but they haven't showed themselves yet. So someone else is a police. What? What? What is something that only a police Listen. would respond to? Hang on, I'm I gonna have an keep idea. on the down low. Gil, Griffin, get close. Yes. I'm not going to reveal it because I feel like it will put me in a spot of danger if people know that I have the ability to make an arrest, but I am the other police officer. I was, okay, good, because I was about to turn to petty crime to see if we could out it. So we both the police officers here. Chip. 
We don't know what ship is, and he was the closest to the scene. I'm just, I'm just babbling away, like he said. Townsfolk instead of townsmen. Chip, you, you're awfully calm for being next to a dead person. Here's, I'm just, I'm who, just, just play, I'm playing it. I'm just like Chip, trying he looks at, not to freak he out. Looks, he looks at you, and he, and he sort of uh, beckons a finger so you to kneel down next to them and kind of huddle it over this body. He's gonna be burned alive by the time that we get back. <laughs> <clears throat> I think we should start by investigating the body, maybe. I think you're right. If we can figure out the cause of murder, but we need to get them away so they can't tamper with it. I've got yeah, a great I'm... idea. Okay. Chip, I think you are the murderer. Preposterous! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just start running. <laughs> Why? Get them away from here. Oh, good idea. No! You're right, Jay! He did no! it! Bad plan! Bad plan! <laughs> Bad plan, bad plan, bad plan. It was him. Get him. Everybody, get him. Get him now. Get him now. Calm down. Her blood is on your hands. Literally. Run while you can. God damn it. Okay, I run. (laughs) Sorry, I'm trying to keep up here because I'm I'm not sure what's going on. You guys fucking suck. we're, We're trying to cause a distraction so that people can't, like, crowd around the body and we can investigate it. So okay. I have to run for my <laughs> life. Um, there it's is, also funny. No one is is really crowded. Fuck you! The only one that was trying to crowd and sort of impede on this was, was the Leon with Jacko, yeah. 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 And yeah. Uh, he takes. I'll say with with that he takes the bait pretty easily. Good. No worries. I'll uh, I'll I'll restrain the criminal. No one restrains Felix Lion <laughs> He chases you. He rolls a 24 on strength to grapple. <laughs> Wait, why, how can he get me? Well, you he can just make like a, next. I ran. You can make an acrobatics or athletics check. Dude, he's a fucking lion. <laughs> he's a massive dude. And I'm Chip. <laughs> he's Chip Bass. Anyways. Dude, I okay. think you can double I think you can double dash to double dash too as a rogue, so I don't think anyone I can, can catch I you. I can't double dash, but I can You can't uh, take can it bonus. twice? I can bonus action dash, but I can't. Yeah, but you do can. It twice. You can't action no. dash too. No. Um, that is a fourteen. Uh, is your is your movement speed speed forty, Jim? It's thirty, but I bonus. I, I do sixty. Okay, so his movement speed is thirty five. So obviously, with like a dash, he does catch up. Um, but it takes it takes a minute. Anyways, he he's going to eventually catch up to you. Uh, and and trying to run anywhere. Really, I mean, like the door is crowded and blocked by by people, and you also notice that it's you locked. can double you can double dash, bro. Really? Yes. I just looked it up. Holy shit! Then I double dash. You I'm get going 90, 90, 90, 90 feet. feet. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I mean, oh, shit. holy shit! Yeah. Okay, so you you run around. In that case, I'll just say you run around and get chased. Um, and you guys are are free to do what you what do do what okay. you want to do. What are you wanting to do? Okay. Uh, Shit looks she died. What are you getting? Um, I, I'm gonna uh, try and do, like... I guess, an investigation. Actually, I'm gonna assist Jay on an investigation check. Okay. It is your destiny to determine the cause of death. Blunt okay. Trauma to the head. Uh, I'm do you want to keep is... the um the ones closest to the body close by? No one needs to try and hide or escape. Exactly. Fifteen on an investigation check. 15. With adva- did you roll with advantage, too? With advantage, yeah. Oh, yeah, you need to roll with advantage. Just a little advantage. You can just get a little advantage. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I shop online all the time, be it on Uber Eats or Amazon, maybe even Best Buy sometimes, and the amount of times I actually have a promo code ready to go to see if I can get a discount isn't very often. But thanks to Honey, manually searching those coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Just the other day I was buying a new keyboard and I actually managed to get $20 off. All thanks to Honey. And now Honey doesn't just work on your desktop, it works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on savings and by getting it you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. So you can get Honey now for free at joinhoney.com slash jrwi. That was joinhoney.com slash jrwi. Thank you again, Honey, for sponsoring this episode, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. You added the D4 with guidance? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, crap. Ah, you were like one away from the answer. No! Okay. <laughs> Can I do my destiny twice? No. No, I can't.
Um, <laughs> Jay, you notice, uh, you squint your eyes and you look around. It is a, um, a, a very poor and, and sad sight to see, but you notice that there are remnants of candle wax on their forehead, which seems to be the point of impact where the most trauma was dealt. Okay. What do you see, So, Jay? it was definitely blunt trauma that killed her. And it looks like maybe it might have been a candle. A candle stick. I'm going to look up at the... at the. Was there a chandelier on the ceiling? There are chandeliers, but they were they were magically floating candles. Mm -hmm. Oh, magically floating candles. But like I said, there were six small chandeliers mm. all circling a much larger glass centerpiece. Does it look like had... anything is is like damaged or missing from any of them? I'll just say roll perception. Because <clears throat> I'm looking at the only other place that I've seen wax in the room. Um, just roll perception. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jay, squint with me. Help. <sighs> squint squint, I, I squint would, with me. I would me. definitely yes. look. I would look to my yeah, sure. to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Gillian rolls, though. Advantage. Yeah. Yep. 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 That is going to be a total of. 22. You look up uh, and study the six circling chandeliers, mm -hmm. and none of them seem to be missing a specific candle, okay. probably due to the arcane nature. Mm -hmm. um, but there are, along the walls, lights as well that sort of like are bolted to the wall and stick out and hold candles, candle lights in that sort of way. And there is one missing. Okay. Jay, do you see that over there? Yeah. One of those. You know who was near that wall? Um. I, I was throwing a guy. I was really busy dancing. It was, you <laughs> were really pulling busy. out the moves, by the way. Can I just Listen, say? I had to impress. Um, at this moment, I'd like to look back down at the body and I'd like to investigate her hands and see if she, like, grabbed anything as she was being attacked or if there's any sort of evidence on the hands, I guess. You would see that. You don't need to roll for it. She's clutching Chip's golden axe earring. How? And Chip, I mean, it, it, you're still running away. I know, but how? How did she get that shit out of my ear? Mm, okay, okay, okay. Slide of hand, baby. All right. So we know that the murder weapon was a candle. All right. Um, Presumably. I, I feel like we need to find it first. Hey, it's a little sure. dark to determine the cause of murder. Does anyone have something <laughs> that maybe we could use to brighten it up a little? Like, I don't know. A <laughs> candle? I look around. <laughs> you showed back and there's that, that group of, of people that you were doing the, the dance yeah. with. Yeah. And um, the turtle sort of like walks or, or sort of steps to the side i can acquire some matches for you no they're too small <laughs> <laughs> um i'd also like to get one more thing about the wound does it look like it's multiple lacerations yeah i wanted to know that too if it was like one or multiple yeah is it multiple hits or just like a single hit on trauma um it's single hit single oh. hit Rip. it mangled so her face with one what? hit <laughs> yeah must have been a big hit yeah it must, must have, have been, been a strong person must have been a strong person indeed um You're i'd like the, the right sleight of hand right. at this point uh and pick up chip's earring don't is it kind of just grab okay it. yeah because it implicates him a little bit too much <laughs> Yeah, well, Chip is far too weak to incur such Chip a screaming wound. in the distance, kind of being circled around, chased by a, a, a jacko. I'll get you, fiend! Okay, I've got another oh, thing I'd like to do. Catch Felix <laughs> what would you like to do? Um, is it possible to, to use divine sense to determine if the cause of death was by an undead? I don't think that's how that works. It's not. It just locates them. I'm going to say no. <laughs> I like that you guys are trying to actively do anything but play the murder mystery. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Is this I how mean, you this... play a murder mystery? How do you... It's getting clues. Unless there's like an anti-magic field here, then like, I don't know why I wouldn't use... Wait, how do we play... Like... Am I stupid? What are we doing wrong? Well, 
you have this group of people who will all claim to be that that were all the, near the yeah the murder. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have and to do an Among Us meeting, is what he's saying. That's pretty yeah, much how it works. Every round, you have to find someone to. Oh, there's this rounds. Is, this is Among Us. It's basically like Among Us, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know there was like rounds. Or if you've I was ever just played to... like Mafia or. Oh. Yeah. I just can't do anything because you said he's guilty and now I'm running for my life. Oh, we just fucked. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't know it was like Mafia. Oh, God. What um, could like I possibly that. that's why do the roles, That's why the roles are a big part of the uh, the murder mystery here. That's, that's why you all oh, have roles. Gonna not go with the I did not realize that. Um, <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. I, uh, huh. Mm. Um, well, I guess I wouldn't know that in character. Uh... Well, I tried to explain okay. that with Griffin. I think okay. I think we can get Jacko off of Chip now. Uh, yeah, I look up at Jacko. Actually, uh, maybe he didn't. Our bad. You know, we just thought. You know, uh, he was oh, close wait, maybe soul. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's okay, on. Okay, well, he's just no, stupid. No, I, um, re I really didn't. I swear, please stop chasing me. My legs are getting right. quite tired. Everyone, gather around. We have a couple of questions we'd like to ask. Yes, we have a. I, st I go over and I stand between <laughs> Gillian and Jay, hiding hiding from this man. Couple of questions. Jacko's like, like panting, uh, and his 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 gigantic form. <sighs> questions? You want yeah. to question the the great Jacko Ripper? I had nothing to do with this. Well, um, seems pretty I'm clear cut. All right, but everyone else isn't out of the woods yet. I'm I'm gonna whisper well, no. to him. I like put my my mouth and my hand in front of my mouth and whisper to him. We should start by interrogating the strongest looking people. You're right. All right. We're going to need all of the strong people to help solve this mystery. So everyone that thinks they've got this stuff, come on over. Jacko once again boisterously yeah, shouts, well, I am the strongest of them all. And he starts to like uh, puff out his chest and the rest following behind Griffin get closer to you as you are shouting out to them while the other party guests are now hugging the wall after being calmed by the, the big Goliath, who is now back over. Um, and, and Griffin says- I, I want to point over at the Goliath too, and say, yeah. hey, hey, big guy, why don't you get in on this? <clears throat> you look pretty strong. Um, uh, with pleasure. So he comes, he comes in, um, and they're all falling behind Griffin. Griffin says, I'm a filthy man, everyone knows the rules. The only way that uh, this is going to work is if we are cooperative and play the game. Understood. Yes. And the people behind him all kind of like nod. Uh, again, it's the uh, the people I described at the end of the waltz. Um, so for the biggest people, you obviously have Bon, who you danced with, Gillian. You have the Goliath, who you I said come to I know. said people that thought they were strong, not big, too. That's important. Oh, uh, well, in that case. This is a group of suspects closest to the murder. Mm -hmm. uh, the Furbolg steps forward first as a strong one. Um, <laughs> Jacko being too sort of like self-absorbed to even begin the conversation. This furball comes up and it's ash colored, like I said, fur with a shoulder link, wavy gray hair, sky blue eyes, wearing all maroon telco suit with two books clipped underneath uh, the jacket around a muted blue velvet vest. Great. I want to get everyone in a, in a small space, all these people that we said were the strongest, and I want to cast Zone of Truth. <laughs> okay. What's the... Uh... Water bubble. Water bubble. What's the save? Bloop. Uh, it is... So let me just read the whole verbiage. Uh, you create a magical zone that guards against deception in a 15 foot radius sphere centered on a point of your choice within range. So I'm gonna get everyone on, you know, in a, in a basically space that I can get everyone. Um, until a spell ends, a creature that enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there must make a charisma saving throw. Um, on a failed save, a creature can't speak a deliberate lie while in the radius. You know whether each creature succeeds or fails on the saving throw. Uh, an affected creature is aware of the spell and thus can avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Uh, so it has to just be within the boundaries of the truth. Okay, so four people come for your request, understanding. I'm, so, I'm assuming you tell everyone that your role is the detective. Yeah, Gillian would. Yeah, because otherwise it's like, why do you have the authority here? 
yeah, yeah. Um, and Jay, you're keeping your role secret. Griffin does let them know that he is a police. <laughs> uh, four people step up. The the grumpy dwarf, Don. Nice. The Goliath, who you come to learn, his name is Guy. Guy. I'll be referring to him <laughs> as Guy. Guy the Goliath. Guy the Goliath. Jacko sits in there as well. Yep. And the Furbolg. Okay, so you come to learn Furbolg, is Raylan. Jacko, Vaughn. Raylan Glenn. Raylan. Um, all four of them step in. That leaves the the Drow standing outside of the Zone of Truth. Uh, the Drow Elf. Question. And uh, I'll give you that name when they speak. Uh, the, the Seder. And uh, the Kenku. And the Turtle. Are we in the Zone of Truth? You certainly should be. We would put we put ourselves yes I would even yeah. put me in I would put Jay in well, and chip in. Jay wants to check one thing quickly before she enters the zone of truth. Oh, um, is it real? Is it real? Is it what you'd like to do? Yes, Jay goes towards the wall and I want to see how heavy the candlesticks are. It's it's got weight to it because of the metal part of the candle holder. Uh, the candlestick itself is not that heavy. Mm-hmm. But it is heavy enough to be a bludgeoning weapon, if okay. Use so like maybe you're maybe on the right track. 10, for 10 pounds, okay. yeah. Um, and then I'd like to see a quickly cast locate object and see if I can find. Oh, another one nice man! That That's is great. like I want to see if I can find one specifically with maybe like a small dent in it from being used for bludgeoning or blood or blood. Yeah, with locate object. It is a like a very grand idea. There aren't any. If you're looking for like them on a specific person, you're not in, you're not getting any magical pings from like a candle being in movement on one of the people inside the zone of truth. If that's okay. what you're looking for. Okay. But it is a really good idea. Uh, all right. So they're on the zone of truth. Everybody make your charisma. Uh, yeah, I returned to the zone of truth and entered as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I just. All right. What order did I say? Everyone I rolled makes for. The save. I'm gonna make the save. You guys get a plus What's the DC? four. DC's oh. 15. Okay, bun, I got a 21. Bun yeah, fails. We all pass. 20. Okay. Okay. okay, so Jacko passes. Okay. I'm roll for Guy now. Do you have to tell us whether they pass or fail? Yes. I do. I have to tell Gillian. Guy fails. A Goliath. Okay. Uh, and then Raylan, the Furbolg. Raylan fails. So everyone but Jacko. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jacko All right. has a very high charisma, and he rolled a natural 14, just so you know. Well, good for you, Jacko. So let's start with other people. What is this supposed to do? Something to me? <sighs> yeah, <laughs> but apparently you're too cool for it. All right, we'll get back to it. Gillian. Yes? I think we need to be careful with our first choice here of who we ask. You're right. Actually, I think asking Jacko might be the best. The... Why? We need, I want to see if we can catch him in a contradiction about what happened when the lights went out. I mean, I guess. I think we should try and get some preliminary information from the people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just so okay, you dudes can, uh, know, yeah. the furball starts to speak up. <laughs> Just so you dudes know, I'm totally willing to be absolutely cooperative with your investigation detectives. Uh, all right, sweet. Thank you, Fearball. What'd you say your name was? Raylan Glenn at your service. Oh, Book sweet, nerd Raylan. In all things books. <laughs> Shaw, dude, what's your role? Oh, I just got a townsperson. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool. See anyone with a, uh, see anyone with like a candlestick, Raylan? Could have sworn I saw someone near one of the candles on the wall, trying to remember their exact description. <laughs> I was sort of burying my nose in a book. You know, I think it was that seer over there. But I can't tell you which one of the heads was looking at the candles. Sorry, don't mean to be offensive. It's actually kind of radical, dude. Hey. Uh, and the, the seder is outside. Raylan, that's, that's cool and inclusive of you, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the seder is outside of the zone. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Oh, he's got a hunch, Miss Jay. I'm sensing something. I want to look at Ben Mad Dagger and just like put my fingers up to my, my oh, head and I'm just staring at him. I'm looking him in the eyes. Does he say anything? Does he think anything? Do I read his mind? I'm reading his mind. His brow is furrowed as he looks at you. 
stern expression. I furrow deeper. I'm more stern than he is. Anyone ever tell you you have an ugly face? <laughs> this guy's good. He's fine. He's clean. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're good. I've sensed him. He's good. How do you do it? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but I was going to kill someone. I wouldn't use a candle. I believe him. I believe him. He's, he's I believe him. Um, an honest man. Uh, I make you weapons would... for a living. <laughs> One thing I want to make really clear here is I want to figure out where everybody was before the lights went out. Right next to the body. Yeah, so you're... <laughs> right. Yeah. Right um... You're asking those outside the zone of truth as well? Um, the guy's in the tr in the zone of truth for now. I'm gonna start with that. Um, I was obviously center stage in the spotlight up until the spotlight went out. I was throwing Ban at top speed. Ban, by the way, what role did you get? Wait, on? Ba is it Ban or Bon? It's Bon. Oh, bon. sorry, I keep saying Bon. You're good. Ban. Either yeah. one work. I mean, <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Shit. No worries. Bon is good though. Uh, roll for what? Like the, the not the, not like roll not like roll like number roll like roll like R O L E. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Are you sassy? I didn't get a roll. You didn't get a roll. No. I didn't know you could. I turned to Griffin. Griffin, is that? Is he? Are you even? Is he playing the game? I'm assuming he's telling the truth. I did hear in the crowd earlier somebody else say they didn't get a roll. I did too. It definitely wasn't him. It sounded like a woman. Yeah, I totally heard that. I heard it the whole time. I heard it you hear everything. I do. I do. I, everything. Guy, what is your role? I was really hoping for, uh... Police. As it's my natural occupation here in the city. But I... I'm a simple, innocent town person. I'm not a big fan of this Jacko fella. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I had nothing to do with it! God, he's just so charismatic. I mean, I have no reason to I, doubt it. I believe every word he says. <clears throat> you know what? I don't like this Jacko fella either. <laughs> <laughs> you just bounced for me. Okay. Oh, Chip. Gillian? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that you are still covered in the blood of the recently murdered woman. Oh, yes, of course, I, I am. I, I am. I am. Covered now, in this blood. you mentioned before that you were a townsperson, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Could you? Could you Felix, take Felix Lion Gold is the town's person? Right. Okay. Wow. He's, he's deep in character. Jay. <laughs> oh, you crap. can see like Chip. Just his eyes are like very wide, like almost even like little tears in them. He's like, Oh my god! I think he's stuck. I'm, I'm a town's person. Are you? No. Why are you? You're no. Detective. I'm not. I'm the detective. Oh yes, of course. And Jay, Farin. Uh huh. I look her up and down. Okay. Good. Okay. That's settled. <laughs> All right. Now, Jay, I'll be honest. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Do you want to ask Jacko something, maybe? Jacko, um. Why did you kill her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Why did. <laughs> Is your role the detective with the police? Young. Is your little. role being stupid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good idea, Jay, because if, if he antagonizes him and then if. And then then if, maybe he'll get murdered next and that will be. What you know. purpose would you have had <laughs> to murder this innocent girl? <laughs> I have no time to waste my energy on a weasel. Ask her questions. Oh, I'm the weasel, but you're just a little kitty. Pawing at attention from the room. You wanted the spotlight. You saw them in there and you wanted it. The only way to do that was to stage a murder. You watched him like roar towards your face. He, Call me a kitty again. 
as he roars into your face, like the saliva sort of hits uh, uh, your cheeks. Go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw. You have a plus Just four. Ooh, 23. Ooh. You pass, you feel yourself. It's it's pretty frightening at first, with especially with the teeth, but you don't, you pass it out. You, you've seen I, worse. <laughs> you've I seen the, scarier stuff. I, there's the like nightmares. shit all over my face. I go, uh, <laughs> I, I want to grab a cloth off of someone else and just. <laughs> hey, dude, that's my handkerchief. <laughs> I, oh, apologies. And I toss it back into his face with all the fucking goop on it. Maybe we've Could gotten off on the wrong <laughs> paw. <laughs> If you would calm down, please, Jacko, and Chip, No, him. no! I am he's calm! About to, he's about to commit another murder. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be on you, dumbass. Well, then we will know he's guilty. <laughs> and you'll be dead. I clock. look over at Jay, I have like a crazy look <laughs> in my face. Can I clock what the other people outside of the zone are doing right now? Yes, you can. Um, go ahead and roll in tight. Um, particularly, yeah. So there's particularly the, what outside of the zone. There's the Drow Elf, Seder, Kenku, Tortle. Where is Anastasia? Anastasia is right behind Jay, and she looks like she's about to say something. Oh, did she make the save since she entered the zone? She didn't. Is Jay in the zone? We're I all am, in yeah. The zone. I entered the zone. Oh, yeah, I rolled the twenty-one to save the. She she would pass. Okay, I rolled natural thirteen. Her charisma is definitely yeah, high. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll roll insight real quick to see around the room. Fifteen. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you would see that the um, turtle is like sort of hunching over to speak with the the Kenku with like this really soft smile on the oh. face, ignoring kind of what's going on here, just like talking to the bird. The bird mimics back things that it's heard before. I'm going to um, nudge right. Jay real quick and say, can you read with their lips or their beaks? Can you read with their... Do they even have lips? <laughs> the Tortle I... doesn't really have lips. <laughs> Tortle looks really kind of like old and, and ancient in a way. Like, definitely one of the oldest here. Would I be able to read lips? And, uh, I think so. I think you could be... Wait. Yeah, I, I do have the feet. Yeah. I don't know. Like, can you read beaks? I I, it, I feel like there's no reason she shouldn't be able to. <laughs> That'd be silly. That's kind of cool, dude. You would also notice that, so that's Mr. Sintis and in, in, uh, the turtle. We haven't got the name of yet. Mm -hmm. uh, you would see that this, the this the sad, 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 satyr, sorry. Mm -hmm. The satyr is annoying the drow elf who is trying to keep to themselves and is rolling their eyes at the entire scenario looking like they do not want to be here. Okay. Uh, and I believe that's everybody. And as for what they're saying, the turtle just sort of like, speaks you would get this uh mid conversation oh that is quite interesting so you can sound exactly like me what about this hello my name is marlo and then you would hear uh, mr sintis go hello my name is marlo oh that is wonderful it is such a shame that someone was actually murdered at this party, isn't it? And then you hear Mr. Sintis go, oh, Such a shame! And someone's voice is completely different, like, mm -hmm. completely different entirely. Uh, and that's the conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're not talking about anything crazy, just about Kenku's and their ability to mimic. Okay. I'm sure that won't come up. <laughs> Anastasia walks into the zone of truth and she begins to whisper something in Jay's ear. But then the room fills with darkness again. God damn. And you it. hear <laughs> surrounding, time's up. Ah! Um, what do you want to do? Do we lose? <laughs> and in that moment, 90% sure it was Chip. <laughs> <laughs> I Who need Chip. <laughs> I need everybody but uh, Charlie to death. <clears throat> okay. Oh shit. Time to die. <laughs> You're coming into your subconscious once again. After the room seems to just sort of swell, starting from the corners, filled with that darkness. You know it is magical in nature, as you've dealt with it many times in the city. And you hear, Detective, you will go slow in time of myself. You hear the sound of a 
a grandfather clock somewhere in the distance kind of echo into your mind. That means the round is ending. And another what? will be murdered. Another will be murdered? Whether you know who it is or not. Uh-oh. And with that, the entire area <sighs> fills with light again. And you see... Um... Still kind of, you're still kind of staring in that that direction of the of the other people outside the zone of truth, right? Or when all the light comes back in. Yeah. Everyone seems to be in the same place from where they left at first, except for another body. The drow elf that was keeping to themselves and rolling their eyes, laying ah, lifeless on the floor. Shit. We didn't even know their name. All right. Oh my god, a dead body. Mm, yes, coin. Uh, for, for you two, the lights again, the room fills with darkness, your whole vision obscured, and then like a split second, it all just fades away as if you blinked. Oh, no! And Gillian screams. Or he shouts. I scream too. I, I scream like a like high pitch. <laughs> okay. Ah! Guys, I didn't realize this ah! is how it worked, but apparently... Ah! Apparently... Ah! Ah! What's ah! going on, dude? Did you decide on someone? Ah! Ah! The furball guys. Uh, uh, Raylan shouts out. You guys are still screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Come back guys, on, I didn't realize this would happen, but every time we don't find the ah! killer, another ah! another person dies. Oh shit. <laughs> so Wait, we. What do you mean? Where? Who? What? Over there, a dead, a dead person. Ah! Where? I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> run over there. I'm gonna grab Jay and run, <laughs> run over there uh, to the dead person. And see if <laughs> she can identify, uh, what, 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 what did it? Quick investigation check. Advantage, perhaps? Yes. I would say so, yeah, sure. It's all Disney, it's all Disney, it's all Disney. Uh, 17. Who da who do you see the, 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 uh, the drow elf? <laughs> who, who was, uh, rolling her eyes and being bothered by the satyr next to them. Who is now looking... Uh, on the ground as you approach in horror, not even noticing what has happened, and then Gasp and sort of like backs up and stumbles. Uh, uh, but only one of the heads looks shocked, and then their face sort of like twists into a smile, and, and they laugh, while the other one of the heads is just like really stern and no emotions. Um, the body itself, there's a sort of a pool of crimson liquid uh, uh, pouring out from underneath its chest. You see there's just a knife directly... Uh, Stabbed in the back. Oh. What did you roll for your investigation? Uh, 17. That's what you needed. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Yay. How that works? You would see that, um, I would say that you sort of leave the knife in where it is, not to touch it. Uh, yeah, to I do don't well. touch it. And you sort of just sort of, sort of just sort of, you roll them over just a bit until they're kind of on the shoulder so you can see the face and uh, they're wearing this. Uh, they have slicked back white hair, uh, which is all messy now, and a black pattern velvet outfit with like this white poofy, uh, I don't know if it's Jabbit or Jabbo style ties, so really poofy ties um, with white ruffles coming under, uh, just under the cuffs that cover most of the hands, uh, showing that most of the fingers are home to fancy rings, except for one. And you also notice that despite the white undergarments, there is a string of uh, like a silver thread that definitely doesn't match the clothing like a silver string i'm looking the at color the finger of the coat. that is missing a f the ring does it look like there's imprints where a ring would have been like like he was wearing one there oh, it, or? It with your investigation it really it definitely looks like the ring was taken okay first thing i do then is i want to look around and see for look for people who are wearing silver or have yeah. silver hair even um, okay excellent there is this uh, silver ribbon around the hat of Miss Decentis. Uh, the turtle is wearing silver garbs as well underneath its coat. Uh, most specifically, a silver bow tie. The doc, or not the doctor, sorry. Um, its entire suit of the male satyr is silver with a silver top hat. Jacko has silver in its golden close like sort of like silver designs like threads that are sort of like almost embroidered and guy has tiny bits of silver in his very minuscule outfit mostly the strings of the um 
the, like the ties or whatever, like the strings that kind of. I don't want to explain it, but there are some silver. Yeah. Um. How do we? Oh fuck! I literally just forgot what I was about to ask. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah. How do so, we arrest people? Like, how does how, I don't, how does the police thing work? Very. I mean, simply like you guys have the roles. The detective determines who should be arrested, and you basically call it out. You say like to the person. Who is, yeah, but what does it, think what is does it like do? You know what I mean? Like, if we arrest the wrong person, does the game continue? In order, the game continues if you get the wrong person. That's how it works. If you get the right person, the game ends. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> but it doesn't like stop them from doing anything. If you get the wrong person, they're technically out of the game. So it's okay. just another way of eliminating. Okay. But okay. it is, you know, it is, there is stakes there. Because if you get the wrong person, the round continues. Another person gets murdered. And each round has a time. Got it. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I hope that has been all that has come. Yeah, become yeah. I, I, I think I'm just us, figuring out as it goes. Can. No worries. Yeah. What'd this. you say? Um, I was gonna say Chip. to Jay. <laughs> oh, to Jay and Chip. Um, do we want to split up and try and ask different? Wait, what did that woman whisper to you, Jay? Did I even hear what she whispered to me? You look over, she's still behind you. I was simply going to suggest perhaps the bludgeon was a cover for the real cause of death. Oh, perhaps. <laughs> Is that what you think? Interesting theory. What Can reason I go back and you have check? to say this? <laughs> Chip, don't slurp at you my lady friend. eating spaghetti? <laughs> I have a lot of spit in my mouth. With with this new information, could I double back to the old body or the the previous murder victim and check for that specifically and see if there's stab wounds, poison? <laughs> I don't know. Poison? Poison? You can. Okay. Poison. Poison. That's gonna be a six. Poison. Damn it. Poison. Yeah. So the, the second investigation <laughs> would be with a higher DC. Whenever you walk over to try and discern any other extra information with this sort of assist, um, the most you get from this is you notice that they were also pickpocketed. Also pickpocketed. Oh. Chip, looking worse and worse for you. I look insane right now. I'd like to look back to the original first body. It's the uh, it's Rebecca who you danced with. She's still there. She's still fine. Still lifeless, yeah. Well, but the way she was, nothing's changed. No. So far, whoever murdered them also stole from them. This guy's missing a ring, and I don't know what Rebecca Something was, was missing. taken. Hmm. Yeah. Chip, you're a thief. <laughs> Remind me what you rolled on the second body for the DC. I mean, for the, the investigation. Let was it 17? I think it was 17, exactly, yeah. All right. There's an I... engraving on the dagger. It says mad. Right, mad daggers. I, I, start, I start walking over towards Jay, but I'm walking with a limp now for some reason. I'm just really getting into this character, and I look at her. Felix Liongold is many things. But a thief is not one of them. Okay, but what about Chip? <laughs> I do not know. A chip. <sighs> okay. So, what have chip, you learned? People are literally Game. dead. Pe like, two people are dead. And, and more will die if you don't take this seriously. Can we arrest him? I'm kind of thinking <laughs> we should just arrest him. <laughs> the, uh... No, Chip, tell break me character, what you learned. Chip, break character, we're gonna arrest you. Do I have to? <laughs> yes. As bad as it hurts. Jacko yells up, What is the meaning of this? A second dead body? Are you competent in detective and police work or not? This is supposed to be just a game. Can you arrest him? He's pissing me off. Find the criminal already! <laughs> Find the murderer! <laughs> this town runs on my wealth! You see the Kenku sort um, of walk up to the stabbed body, and you hear faintly, Mad. 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 M
mad dagger. Mad dagger. And then uh, Miss Desintis looks up towards like the turtle and, and starts and as I looks like kind of worried. He did say that if he was ever to kill someone, he'd do it with his own weapon. What are you saying over there? <laughs> Still in the zone of truth. Oh, sorry. Mr. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, um, mad dagger. He got killed there. with one of your daggers. I, I'm gonna go back to the zone of truth at this point. Me too. Me too. Yeah, most do. of them. Well, Jacko at this point has left the zone of truth. Uh huh. Uh, I'm gonna uh, take. I'm gonna take the the dagger out of the body. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Releases. Um, sorry. I'm gonna walk it back over, and I'm gonna say to Mad. Do you recognize this weapon? I. Now, I, I swear I haven't killed anyone. I know. We're not insinuating that. But the craftsman has his ways. Do you remember who you might have sold this one to? I keep a logbook at the shop. Um, natural 20. Holy shit, let's go! Yes! They were cloaked. Makes the features hard to remember, but the frame was abnormal and a bit stockier, at least around my height. How tall is this guy? He, I mean, he would be as about as tall as the satyr, um, a little bit taller than the kenku, okay. uh, about as tall as the turtle. Not, but shorter than the two biggest. Like three of the three biggest. He's only, I mean, the Furbolg is also pretty tall, but is more, but isn't the tallest, if that makes sense. So, yeah, and then he says, Their voice was, they didn't speak much. They wanted, uh, they handed me a note of what they wanted. Nobody should be able to sneak one of these in. I'd like to look at the Kenku and, like, see how they're dressed specifically like i said uh a lolita dress similar mm -hmm. in similar fashion to yours although i think you went more exaggerated towards the end uh yeah. to mix but theirs is is um you know they have a they have a shorter frame as well and it but it's, uh, it's still like pretty mini like a cocktail dress and that sort of like it is a short dress um yeah ruffles at the ends fade into that sort of purple gradient with uh, bits of silver sort of lining it out, also silver ribbon around the hat, little little bit of a um, veil that covers half of the the side of the face, with their beak sort of sticking out. They do look like visibly worried. Yeah. They also right. did point out the dagger. I'm gonna point over at the at the satyrs. You two, don't move, and I'm gonna fully sprint over them. Okay. Taking taking you, Jay with me, <laughs> and I don't know you, if Chip <laughs> is just like fucking losing his mind and just staring into the <laughs> abyss like no crying. I'm ho i hobble along i'm hobbling along i'm following okay. so you you run over to the the satyr the conjoin mm -hmm. uh conjoin conjoin how do you say that it's conjoin right conjoined conjoined, yeah, conjoined. conjoined. uh conjoined twins uh, the uh, this is even emmet uh easy even to emmet. learn as soon as you you yeah. meet them the, what's your name the, and then they say with anymore eve is wearing a black and red jester type outfit almost like a harley quinn vibe Emmett is wearing that silver suit and top hat. Uh, obviously, they are split in half to sort of, uh, kind of it's kind of like the, the, the Two-Face outfit from Batman okay. where it's like the suits are, are yeah. threaded together. Um, and as soon as you walk over, Eve uh, like is swaying their head back and forth like they had too much to, to, to drink. And she goes... <laughs> Oh, this is so fun, isn't it? Uh, Two people are dead, Eve. <laughs> but it's just a, it's just a party game. <laughs> people die all the time. What's the big deal? You're sick. And then uh, uh, Emmett speaks. I apologize for my sister. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> cheer up. I'm gonna I'm gonna take them. Uh, it's all right. Just follow us, and I'm gonna guide them over um, to the zone. Oh, this is fun! Uh, and, uh, alright, so they, uh, do they, do they roll separate, or? I don't know if that's Are they two different, are they two different, different minds? Yes. Then yeah, they minds. do, I would say. So Eve rolls a, a natural 17, and Emmett passes. Passes. rolls oh, a 5, so Emmett has to tell the truth. Emmett fails! Alright. <laughs> oh, I can tell he has to tell the truth, but I don't. Well then. Let's start with you, Emmett. 
okay. look at him. I'm scary <clears throat> looking at him. Mean mug at him. I'm trying to suss him out. Um, look at my eyebrows at him. At his face. Is he shook? Is he shook? I have a quick question before the questioning starts here. Mm -hmm. Is there any clocks? I will mention that when the darkness swelled, you all did he you all did hear the loud dung of a grandfather clock. Though in the immediate vicinity, <laughs> I'd say you can clock one uh, second floor. Okay, so very I can big, see one. wide, and grand. Um, that was but, cool. I like that you said that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep my eye on it because, like you said, that the 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 blackness, like when, keep, it's like a blink of the eye, eye, right? On the on the, on the time, yes. Um, I don't. I'm guessing Gillian would have shared the information he got. Yeah. If you yeah. forgot, so basically, like. Once that, 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 the hand is moving very, very slowly. And every time it circles to 12, midnight, the round, the day ends. And, and, uh, someone, whether you figured it out or not, it's murdered and the next round begins. My, I guess my big thing is, so is it moving like the proper amount of time? Like is a second to second? No. no. Okay. No, no, no. It's, 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 but it's moving slowly. Gotcha. Emmett, this does not implicate you specifically in anything, but did you or your sister... Do you recognize this dagger, aside from when it was used to kill someone? I've seen such daggers like this before. <laughs> we have daggers all over the place. You do? Ones like these? Oh, I like to collect them. It's one of her hobbies. Looks like an ordinary dagger. Bought from Mad Dagger. Did you do you shop there often, Eve? <laughs> I go there all the time. Against my will. <laughs> hmm. um. And Emmett, you would remember being there, so do you remember possibly Eve ever mentioning or, or, or you getting a dagger with a specific tight turnaround? What about wearing a cloak when you go? Perhaps. We are practiced in the art of switching between control. And that is in my time usually to rest when Eve has the body. I can't say I remember all of the outings to Mad Dagger, though I do remember some and none recent. I haven't been there very recently. Though you don't know if I'm telling the truth, and neither does Emmett. This is fun! Emmett, what is your role in all this? This party, this murder mystery? I am an innocent, I am a doctor. I've studied long and arduous hours to become who I am, thus the only reason I can give this sort of life to my sister, where everywhere else we are ostracized. Should you require assistance with the cause of death, I can perform autopsies. Um, that would be great, actually. Are you able to look at the, the, first, boss, the first body? If you relinquish me and my sister, he passes and looks over as a potential suspect. Well, we maybe you, you for now. but your sister, do you know what role <laughs> she is? Has she told you? I haven't told him. Nobody when, will know what my role is. When do you two switch control? Well, right now they're both cautious, it seems. When we are both conscious, I usually allow partial curf Sorry, not partial. I usually allow majority control, though I do have my own arm in this case. And when during the party so far, Emmett, have you lost consciousness or control? When the room fills with darkness, usually. Well, that's fucking convenient right guys that's yes, how it yes, works it for me convenient. too <laughs> um Eve, i hear you? that if you get it wrong does another one get murdered a question do you know if uh, Gillian, if you arrest one of them do 
Did they both get arrested? I don't. I don't know. I was thinking about it. It's kind of like a two. How many hands do they have? They have? Yeah. How many Gillian. hands do they have? Two. two. <laughs> so you could, if you shackled their hands, they'd be both. They'd be arrested. Both of them at once. <sighs> Such as the okay, so the he's a doctor. Hand. He can do autopsies. If I were to cast a spell, would it affect one or both of them? If, if Zone of Truth has two separate saves, then it would probably unless it's no, like not Zone of Truth, not Zone of Truth. I think What's anything the mental would mental would be, but, like separate. San and anything sanctuary would be the same. Sanctuary? What is what does Sanctuary do again? Um, until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or harmful spell has to make a wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> On a failed save, they must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. This is kind of their whole being, so it probably affects both of them. Okay. <clears throat> Do I know if we have a minute or less until... You're about halfway through now. This night. Okay. How, uh, how long will it be before the next blackout? About another minute. Okay. I'm going to okay. cast... I'll cast Sanctuary on them on, on both of them, I guess. <clears throat> uh, here. Bubble, yep. go. This way, uh, the murder will not be able to affect you directly. Yes, Jay. We need to make our rest tonight. I know. Who are you thinking? I'm He's... thinking Mr. Sentis. Mr. Sentis, yes. Mr. Sentis? This was also my thought. Why is that, Chip? Care to, care to continue down that line of thinking? Mm. <laughs> okay, so you're full of shit. <laughs> well, what is I'm Mr. Full I mean, shit. Mr. Santa seems like a very nice lady. Mr. Santa's, excuse me, can we have your attention for a second? Come in no, here. Come in the zone. First, come in the zone. Let me We're actually first. running out of time. Mr. Santa, get in the zone now! 30 seconds. Mr. Santa's, uh, uh, who is talking with the, the turtle, who I guess at this point you could know their name is Marlo, mm -hmm. um, uh, sort of like hurried and like uh, panic walks into the zone, rolls. I'll pause it while I'm rolling. Uh, timer rolls it to a failure um yeah they're in the zone i, I know you've got a yes hello, or no hello. locked or loaded have you killed anyone here tonight no do you know who did i don't know do, have you seen anyone uh uh, uh oh shit guys i'm gonna what, 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 what we how did you um, recognize the dagger as mad's dagger the demeanor of mr sentence changes from this cute and sweet uh, to a squint and gets close and like hunched over. I have learned to observe every detail of the surroundings for safety. And then comes back to normal. Well, in that case, did you see who was carrying a candlestick like that? And I, and I point over to the wall. No! Uh, did you see um, who killed anyone? Do you know who the murderer is? No! Fuck! Okay, we're almost out of time, right? You are out of time, yes. No, I'll, I'll I'll before, before, before it goes something. dark. Before it goes dark, you I see reach that, out. That, that is about to hit 12. Yep. I reach out. I touch Miss DeSantis. I'm going to cast. Uh, I, I'm going to ask her super quick. And what's your role, Miss DeSantis? It mimic tries to, to mimic Chip. I'm a townsperson? Great. Okay. I cast a, a sanctuary on her, too. And <laughs> with that, you all hear time's up. And the whole room I, I hug Chip and Jay. Or you don't hear time stops, so you hear the dung or fill the room. Uh, I'm a some people, some people gasp in the crowd that is watching on as uh, sort of uh, uh, spectators, and it fills with darkness. And this time, everyone but Jay. Hey, hey, I'm uh -oh. getting murdered. Uh oh, uh oh, dog. <laughs> you hear a voice come into your subconscious. The role of the police. Decisions will often lead to failure. Another has been murdered tonight. Do you feel any steps closer to the culprit? Buy your notes well. Best of luck. <laughs> oh no. What? We're, ba we're bad at this, dude. We are. <laughs> I'm just sad is all. They have to make a wisdom throw if they want to target the satyr or the kenku. I understand. But that is not the body you all see when the lights oh, return. No. Oh, no. In the zone of truth, 
I now hope it's half, Jacko, guys. half outside oh, wow. of the zone. As the light returns to your vision, you all see at once the body of the Furbolg. No, he was cool. No, he was so cool. His head caved in and smashed, bludgeoned by a foreign object. The skull completely deformed, slumped on his side. That's it. I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> I mean I, arrest. I mean I arrest. Grab, I grab Gillian's head and I point it over to the lion man. Jacko goes, this is preposterous. You're allowing more innocents to be killed. They should have given me the role of detective and I would have found it in an instant. And what okay, would you have detective. done, Jacko? Detective? Well, starters, I would have asked everyone one simple question. Do you have what it takes to watch the life leave the eyes of a living person? And I would know in their gaze whether they're telling the truth or not, because no one usually does. You have to be quite the animal to commit murder. Animal, you it's him! Would, it, <laughs> <laughs> would it you agree, guy? Claiming to be the peacekeeper. The protector of our city, though no one here is protected. And Guy starts to, to take off that sleeveless vest. All right, buddy, you've disrespected me for the last time. <laughs> fight, 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 fight! <laughs> and uh, the turtle actually steps forward and sort starts to break up this, uh, like pointing the staff on the chest. Oh no, children. Let's not be too hasty. No, I think he's gonna point. I'm gonna run at the guy and punch him in the face. Fight! Roll the hit. you punch Jacko. Jay, as this as this uh, chaos ensues, it rains. You look at this You see the clock. The clock are moving. Uh, so roll the hit. I want to help Gillian. Okay. I want to fight him with with Gillian. I want to tag team. So you both roll the hit on Jacko. Yes. All right. I got a fucking 13 to hit. That sucks. I got... 11. <laughs> uh, I don't think Chip hits, but no one is really wearing armor, so let me no. just check. Okay, I'll, so I'll natural, naturally, the AC would be 14. Oh, fuck. So, yeah. <sighs> All right. Unfortunately, you guys both... You both hit him. It doesn't do any damage. Hmm. He, uh, he lets out one of those <laughs> roar right back in your face. Uh, and both of you, um, except for actually Gillian this time, you just roll wisdom safe. Okay. I'm not scared of big kitty. Oh shit, I got a 10. You, uh, you, you become sort of frightened. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you are at the frightened condition of, uh, of Jacko. Oh man. Try it again and I'll rip you out of stretch. Okay, I believe you. All right. <laughs> um. <laughs> Huddle up, gang. I want to get Chip and Jay. I'm huddled up and, like, I'm just visibly crying. We need to look at what we have. They don't know who did it. They don't know if someone else is going to die. We need to arrest someone. I'm going to pick Jacko unless you tell me not hey, to, Jay. Hey, hey, Gillian. Hey, Jay. Hi, hey. Chip. Oh, who are you finally Griffin back? Griffin joins the huddle if you allow him. In yeah, his chair suit. He's been yeah. sitting the whole time as the chair. Stands up. Oh, my up. God. The chair. It's you. Um, hey, guys. Can we go home? God, no, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really bad at this. I don't know who did it. I just think we... I, I wish I had my sword and stabbed someone. People... Oh, I have a sword here. Hand of my cane. <laughs> this, is, this is a cane. This is really starting to piss me off. Pull me too. I don't know. This doesn't sword. even feel like... Griffin, I don't are you know. thinking... Any, are we missing something? Do you... Here's what we have. have Something's ideas. been stolen from from. Wait, what was stolen from the fear bulk? You haven't. Check you check you haven't investigated. We, we I'm, 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 I'm gonna, gonna, look, I'm gonna investigate yeah, yeah. the body now. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, roll investigation. Whoever with advantage. I'm helping whoever you. wants to yeah. lead. Yeah, I'll do. I'll lead. Again. It is your destiny. I cast guidance. Mm -hmm. Here comes the natural 20 for sure. <laughs> natural 20, actually! <laughs> no, really? Oh, yeah. oh, my God! As they walk away to investigate, can I just be standing next next to... Um, um, fuck, what is his name? How did I already forget this? 27 um, total. 
I keep wanting to call him Geralt, but I know he's not. <laughs> Griffin! Griffin, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Standing next to Griffin, I just want to look at him. Can I sit on your lap? Roll persuasion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Big day. 17. No. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you guys inspect the body of, of Raylan, and you notice that yeah. the bludgeoning imprint is rectangular, almost like the shape of a book, Jay, and you also notice that one of the books underneath the jacket that was in one of the clipped holsters is missing. And one of the pages is sort of scattered in uh, bits and pieces, almost if it was like teared and then left. And this page is on mythical creatures when you put it together. Natural 20 gets you a lot. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you also notice bits of ash on sort of like, as if kind of fallen, just tiny bits of ash falling onto the fur, on the very edges of the fur. Ash. Does it look like they're, it, they are singed anywhere? It doesn't look like ash from a particular burn on the body. More like ash from an ashtray of sorts. Okay. Some sort of smoking ash. Jay, do you think you could locate the rest of these these pages, if, if you know what it's from? Oh, if it's from the book. Then we'd have to find where the book is. I saw the book you saw beforehand. The book. Yeah. Uh, so could I actually locate object on this book, since I've seen yeah. it before? Can you look, like... uh, if, if the object is placed, let's say, in like the equivalent of a bag of holding, you would not be able to okay. locate it? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to, I don't think. Hmm. Or, yeah. It, it's like a pocket dimension, you can't. Look yeah. The I don't think you'd be able to. So, in that case. That's how I wanted to find Niklaus. Yeah, the most I'd say with another locate object spell is that, um, by arcane means, these objects, you know for sure now, are disappearing once used. Intentionally. Mm. Magically. I want to read the page on vampires. What does it say? <laughs> I want to Im imagine a D and D book. <laughs> Does it? No, so it's like one of the campaign books. <laughs> it has like a vampire picture, <sighs> like just the artwork. Plus some eleven kind of to hit. That's busted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some shit like that. Guys, I have no fucking clue. I'm to be totally honest, about it right now. I genuinely like don't know like at all. At this point, when the vest is removed from Guy, who is still kind of being. Uh, held back. They're like they're still shouting in the background while you guys are contemplating in your little huddle with Griffin, uh, with the turtle sort of trying to keep this like with a kind face, kind of keep this like mellow and and, and stuff. After you punch them, they're still kind of going at it, um, trying to keep the situation calm and everyone together. Uh, Descent, Mr. Descentis is just sort of uh, shaking and looking around very frantically at the like the roofs and stuff. Does any no one here I, smokes though, right? Like no one here actually I, does. Smoke. You can look. I'd like to yeah. look at the turtle. I'd like to. I'd like to look yeah. at the turtle. See what the turtle has on him. I want to look at if anyone is smoking or has smoked. Like I didn't notice anyone doing that. Did you roll per? Okay. So, who wants to lead and have advantage, Chip or Gilliam? Chip. Yeah, Gilliam. I'll give Chip advantage. Um, natural twenty. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> 25. Jesus. I rolled four natural 20s. Christ, dude. I'm looking this guy up and down. I want to see everything he's got it's going It's hidden. On. But in, in, in really only Chip would... Well, not really only Chip, but because of Chip's sort of background, there is a notch... At the very tip of the staff, which you swear you've seen act as a pipe. Similar to Gandalf's pipe staff, if you need reference. Hmm. It is a very specific notch where you put your mouth on it and smoke mm -hmm. from. Hang on, Gil. Come here, Jay. I just point over yes. to it. Look at the staff. 
It's like balsa wood. No, at the top, it's like a. I think it's a pipe staff. So you think? Smoking kills. Um. <laughs> 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 Uh, fuck it. I just point at him and I say, arrest that man. He's smoking. <laughs> Everyone stops for a second and confused. Because and the, the, oh, heck, because the ant, we found ashes on the, the body. And so he, the only one that could have been he, w there was the guy that has a staff. It's also a pipe. And so it... It Give all makes sense. It all makes sense now, Griffin. It all makes sense. You what see, the they... person that walked in and slipped a note to not to have his vo to have his voice not. Guys, I have no fucking clue who did it. I have no idea. I am still lost. <sighs> hey, Tortle, what's your what? Sorry, what's your name? Uh, I am. It's Marlo, right? Marlo. And you Marlo, wish to cool. accuse me, I have cool. done nothing thus far or interacted much. You're saying what's, I murdered these what's three? What's he wearing? What's he wearing? What's he wearing? Uh, like I said. Hat, yeah. Did I, what did you say? Silver suit and top hat? No, that's the satyr. The no. uh, Marlo has yeah, a silver bow tie. Silver bow tie. How tall is he in reference to Ben Mad Dagger? They're about the same size. I want to go up to the I'm going to throw turtle. a rock at his head. <laughs> no. <don't do> <laughs> <laughs> I want to go up to him. Okay. Uh, all right. No one's suspecting you of anything, but I, I, I just want to get something figured out. Can you know, I, this is a, I want to pull out a piece of paper and, and a pencil. Can I find that here? You can pull it out. What are you doing? Uh, I, I want to look at him. This is... This is a magical piece of paper. And if you say something and then sign this, it can't be a lie, okay? So this will just prove that you're innocent. There's a literal zone of truth like 10 feet away. Okay. All right. Now this so makes just sense. Say that you didn't kill anybody and write your name. I don't see how this paper has magical properties. Are you sure you can take me at my word? Of course. Perhaps I step in the zone of truth. No, that's that's okay. I, I'm sure oh. you're honest. These guys just don't believe you. He get his eyes closed, the kind eyes closed with a like soft smile. If you kind say eyes. so. Can't be. <laughs> He's uh he yeah I guess he signs. You want him to sign his name? Yeah, I just want him to write his name. I'm trying he to figure out what Marlo. you're trying to catch him in here because I don't even know. It's actually a marriage certificate. <laughs> Okay, so he writes his name on it? Mm -hmm. He's in the blank piece of paper. Uh, okay, so I take the piece of paper. I'd like to go over to Ban Mad Dagger and hand him the piece of paper and say, is this the handwriting on the note? Okay. Mm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, if I didn't roll the natural 20 earlier, I don't think I'd remember. <laughs> <laughs> wow, good thing you rolled that. Could be similar. But that's just an old turtle. He comes here every year. So he's invested. One of the oldest of the entire city. Capable of murder. <laughs> I'm not the detective. I want to try something. I want to look for a <laughs> zipper. <laughs> on Wait, the turtle. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Why? I rolled a natural 20 investigation. If there was a zipper, I would have seen it. What yeah. kind of zipper? I mean, what, what are you looking for a zipper for? I'm going to unzip him and see that he's actually not old at all. <laughs> oh my god, there's no <laughs> zipper. He's like the that. mayor. You've, you've seen, I mean, you've everything that is on the portal I've described. Yeah, I want to walk back It's kind of just on you guys right now to make your... You guys are running out of time, by the way. <clears throat> okay, uh, I, I don't know for sure. Um, like, tick. Gil, I think you should just arrest him. Tick. Arrest me. At very least, it gets him out of the game. Well, let's see, because not anyone could have committed these kinds of crimes. They say it someone, someone, someone strong, someone fast. I someone hope you're with... sure, otherwise someone will get murdered again. 
I think I'm, I, <clears throat> I'm running gonna, out of time, Gil. I'm going to pick up a table and throw it at the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> what? You have 30 seconds. You're really going to do that? Yeah. What Roll do you think? Hit. He's going to sleeper agent turn around and grab <laughs> the table? Griffin, we're going to arrest the turtle, okay? <laughs> what does he do? What does he do? Wait, you have to roll the hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's old. All right, hang on. It's a turtle. He got natural armor. 20, 24 to hit. I think I would just hit him. It better. You hear him. As he just sort of like, like, bends on a knee. The, the murderer would have blocked it. <laughs> Go no. I'm going to throw a table at Eve. I'd stop him from throwing another fucking table. <laughs> we need to stop the chip. They're going to kill someone else. Kill. That you shit. can't just throw tables at people. Jacko shouts out, I don't believe you're the detective. You're the murderer. What? Does he pass? He points <laughs> at Honestly, you. Honestly, you're throwing tables you're at people. You're the murderer. I say that you arrest him, police officers. What, just because I kill people all the time? Hey, actually, can I ask Anastasia something quickly while this... Rock is going on. Time. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Hey, Anastasia, are there any other vampires in here? I would know she's a vampire. She bit me. <laughs> you should know by now that not everyone is as they seem. I hope you learn that lesson with me. And at this point, <laughs> she starts to sort of like walks away, just towards into the crowd. And any moment now, you're looking at the clock. And Gillian? it's about to fill. I run to Gillian. All right, I, tell I me who. Gillian. I don't know. I don't know. Tell turtle. me who. Arrest the turtle. Arrest the turtle. He's turtle. the murderer. All right. Turtle. I pointed the turtle. Arrest him, I guess. <sighs> you better be fucking right about this. I don't know. Um, Jay, do you? What are you doing? Are you following Griffin? Or are you arresting the turtle? I yeah, I'll arrest the turtle. I'll, I'll reveal my role as police officer. <laughs> okay, how do you reveal it? Do you do the whole badge? <laughs> You stand up. <laughs> I slam my foot. This is the police. <laughs> I tackle the turtle. <laughs> You're under arrest. You have the room right to remain silent or whatever the fuck. If you've been killing these people, I'm going to kill you. Um, and the turtle's just sort of like cowering with their hands up on their head. You walk over. Yes, I think um, we made the right call. The, the staff <laughs> is sort of like falling on the ground and they're like trying to shrink into their shell as you were just actually running over <laughs> to bully them. I grab the staff and break it in half. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Why would you do it? What You're did so you bad. have to gain? The clock strikes 12 and you hear Dum. But the room doesn't fill with darkness. And it set all the candles above you. The flames rise like red pillars. And they all sort of seem to drop on the ground. And the circle of red flame, small at first, as it calms down, simmers around all of you. And you make your you make your call. And the turtle looks up at you, or without looking up at you, says, whispers, well done. In that moment, red flames sort of swirl around the turtle, sort of knocking you and Griffin back. Um, like this sort of raspberry red colored flames circle around him in this big, fill, uh, uh, a magnificent and, and almost like exaggerated swirl, a tower of flames just sort of rises up to the ceiling um, and bricks a hole uh, in uh, pass through, making the, the chandelier of glass break into a million uh, scattered, sparkling, glaring pieces that start to fall to the ground and breaks right through the ceiling of the dome to reveal a moonlight that casts almost as one singular spotlight in the center. And as that pillar of flames dissipates in front of you, you see a very tall, slender, looming figure in this black uh, almost like a, a black trench tail coat with a very uh, exaggerated insinuated popped uh, collar the whole form almost blends together like a, uh, a slink of shadow and from the face covered in silhouette as it looks 
up and reveals its features, you see this slender man with very sharp and defining features. <laughs> slender man. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> Sorry, dude. I didn't mean to crack. It's all right. It's this very, uh, very thin, well-defined uh, man with these glowing red eyes as the area sorts to... Um, as, as the fire starts to dissipate, almost sort of absorb into his body. His body, the suit, is almost looking like a shadow. And with this pointed uh, goatee and slicked back hair with like sort of like red highlights going on the sides. Pointed ears. He looks down at you all from maybe 12 feet. Incredibly tall. <laughs> and you hear Griffin go, you hear Griffin grit his teeth and he goes, <sighs> and you smell it. You smell the exact sense that he described. That's it. And the man speaks to all of you as the other sort of guests besides the um, dead bodies who are getting sort of picked up by Guy. They're all, you're all sort of in this vicinity now surrounding this and he says congratulations you have succeeded the murder mystery some yeah why was it the tour I don't, guys I honestly don't even think I got it I I, I, don't, I don't even know like what was the whole deal with the like why did you take the ring and like with the book, I don't know. I okay. <laughs> am sorcerer Grim. <gasps> Tonight's Hi. host and murderer in our game. And for the finale of our show, we've put on together. For our guests. For my murders. Who is it that will murder me? And that circle hey, I... of red flame starts to build around you, almost like creating this <laughs> cut off arena in the middle of the ballroom. And people start to panic. The seals on the stairs drop. The seal on the door drops. And it bursts open. Allowing those who wish to run to run. And those. Who wish to partake in this finale. To stay. As it seems Grim. Is preparing for. A showdown. Hey so actually we well, don't really want to murder you. Yeah might as well. Let's sit down crisscross applesauce. With the um, the the rage building up next to you, that sort of aura. This is definitely who he was looking for, and it is the sorcerer you are looking for. Oh, overwhelmed by the sheer amount of arcane power. So they're not really dead, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm with him. <laughs> also, can you look at my bird? What the? Why the fuck do you invite people that to your party that are esteemed in the city and then kill them? You fucking asshole! <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. Uh -huh. Unless you avenge them with my life, the show will not end. Uh, well, well, hey, I actually I wanted to talk to you. I have a, I have a problem. It's probably you can help me with. And we have, I a, have a bird. A bird. Yeah, we, we have, have a bird. Bu We're hoping you can help our bird. Hey, if you can help our bird, we'll kill you afterwards. Pick up a to table. the next <laughs> session with initiative. Should you wish? Well, we are going to jump into this on the next session. We're ending the session here. That's it. That's the fun. That's the, that's the session. That's the whole thing. It's finished. Guys, uh, I, so, I feel so dumb. I feel like the dumbest motherfucker in the world. I, let's I, go I to the. Written. Let's go to just roll with it, where they can tell me how awful I am for making them feel dumb. 
on the game on the D and D game. I thought I thought when he said kind eyes, I was like, yeah, that motherfucker. That motherfucker, <laughs> guilty. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I just wanted to quickly give a special thank you to our patrons, such as Baka7, Cal's The Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, FBOMO2, Fly Guy, Amber Curry, Robert Gangwer, Man Made Imp, Blue Star 418, Your Personal Jester, Jordan Darlin, Red Sus Over Paradise, Sleepy Wither, Sahara Lester, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Rekate, Kev Senpai, The Letter 7, Finra, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Juzombo, Gorillion Fried Strider, Boss Goat, Rikard Zinn, Artemis Loves You, Definitely Not a Turtle, Everett Stoker, Probins, Netven, Deathclaw, Race with Style, Scarab 5, Sandy 007, William Smith, Cheshire, Lublem Blop, Bowling Ball Iron, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Neko Lord, Alyssa, Dreamstrider, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Expoogaloo, Serene is actually a skeleton, Material Seaweed, Gillian's biggest fan, Cornier Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, Your NB Pal Pal, Riker Kurotu, Nonxolotl, Salutation, JRWI Enjoyer, and of course, J Newell. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you next week, hopefully. <laughs>